well, last week I get tried to guess at some of the at least one of the names that would come back, and I failed on it completely. So this week, um, I guess it'll be a lot of House of Representative names. We'll they they're pretty clever, so who knows what they're going to come up with? But um, they're coming back in two seconds. Here they come. Here comes Gail. Okay, you're all here. Well, at least most of you are here. Gail's on her way. Gail's in room five, you guys. Oh, great. Oh, good. So you were about to complain, weren't you? That you didn't. We were feeling complain. lonely. Yeah, I knew yeah. you would. But no, Gail. Gail's your um has a category tonight. She has a bonus. Oh, is, okay. um, is is a is Adrian going to play? No, she says she's not filling up to it. She had a book uh book club. Oh, okay. she's supposed to be spending the day working on her wikipedia page that she's been writing for the last six years <laughs> well, i hope it wasn't me because you know she sent me a facebook friend request and i said sure and i haven't heard from her since must be a migraine <laughs> yeah you did it bill i knew it i knew it that'll that'll turn it right over that'd do it for me too you know no i no she said she's she had a book um book book club today and then she says she isn't feeling good and so, and Brian Kirby sends his best wishes. He says that he was planning on making it tonight, but he had to, he had a meeting run until right now and he's just got to decompress and he's not going to make it to PsyCon. So he better be, here. He better be here playing trivia the night that we're not here. So Ben, you better. Oh, are they not here? Where oh, is Ben, ben running people? it? Yeah, Did he Ben's still running. put out all these interviews, hype it up PsyCon, he can't go? No, Ron, Rob's going. I'm talking about Brian Kirby. Brian also put out a bunch of stuff on the 502 conversations. Yeah. But he did one with Ben Radford, and I was supposed to mention it tonight. It was a really good interview. It took me a day or so to listen to it because I'd put it on when I was doing something else, and then I turned it off when I was trying to do something else. But yeah, terrific interview with uh, Brian Kirby on 502 with Ben Radford. What was the other one that he I, did? I was, um, it. I'm, I have to admit, I'm going to have to look. I, I can't recall exactly, and I might have uh, overcounted, but I recall something I else. I tend to blend everything in my mind. Sure. Did he have Mick West? I sure hope so. <laughs> and, and Deborah's about ready to go out and start learning how to uh, climb telephone poles and do her own internet out there. <laughs> Apparently. <What? laughs> She's having internet problems for weeks. It's like she drops. Oh, internet dropped. Okay, internet drop. Hi, Jordan, by the way. Good to see you there. Hi. Hi, Gail. <laughs> okay, we're almost here. All right. So we're on we're game 185. There. Really into it. Some, okay, I got a little list of things to do here today. All sorts of things to mention. So here we go. We're on, this is October the 12th. So I'm really curious what game, what, what you guys came up with. I, of course, use my psychic powers to try to figure out what it was that you guys would come up with. And it's before you came back from the break, I talked about it to the audience of six that listens to this. And so if you well, joined us, I want, I want to listen. Oh, look at that puppy. What a beautiful, what's your puppy's name, Kevin? It's pepper. Oh, she's four Aww. years old. Very pepper. Cute. You turn off your my background. friend Joe who played her. trivia with us before it was his dog. And his girlfriend's kids and the cats and everything was disturbing the dog. So they wanted to find a new home for her. And she, she's so good. Oh, she's just, just good beautiful. Girl. Who's she, a good girl? girl. Who's a good she's girl? Adorable. Hey, yeah. You like to go for a walk? Let's go for walkies. Walkies. <laughs> treat? Would you like a treat? It's getting, it scratched her ears. She's pot beagle and pot springer spaniel. Ah. Got freckles on her nose. Her name is Pepper. Can she Very jump? Good. Yes. There she, she goes. Spring? A spring. <laughs> She's going back. That's the first picture we took on the ride home. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, where are we going, Dad? Where are we going? Yes. <laughs> Mark would love to have a dog too. Right in the car. I haven't had a dog Jackie. since 1985, so it's oh, been wow. a long time. Uh, uh, wow. You'll remember how. Yeah. All right. So everybody's <laughs> ready. So we've got game game uh, 184. We have Ron, Wendy. Faith, 
Romero and Carolyn. What is the team name you came up with today? Let's see who gets my guess. Let's see if I can do it. Scalise, police, pack your valise. <laughs> Excellent. That is very good. Jamie, Cindy, Jane, and Lee. Israel. We support Israel. Oh, that's interesting. And I don't have to say it in uh... you have to say it in Hebrew. You have to say it in ah, Hebrew. Good luck. You gotta write you gotta write it phonetically. Then. I don't know if we have all day. <laughs> and you have to say it right to left. Oh, and it goes, and it goes when oh, yeah, I put right, I copied huh? it and pasted it in, it goes, it shifts over to the right. I have edited in Arabic, I mean Arabic Hebrew, sorry, sorry, Hebrew on Wikipedia before. And it is freaking weird. I've added a photo is all I did. And it, 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 everything is completely opposite. It's really interesting. Boy, it's very me. hard to copy and paste it, in it's Hebrew. Yeah, it changes everything. So Carl, Kyle, Ben, and Jordan, what do you got tonight? Beware the windmills. They kill whales. <laughs> what is that in relation to? That well, I know Trump's Trump talks. That's what Trump's what? claiming now. Well, what, they yeah. kill what? whales? I killed off all the birds. Yeah. Now I'm going to work on the whales. Yeah. Presumably, he meant they're killing birds, but also not entirely <laughs> straightforward. Anyway, yeah. He may not know the difference between birds and whales. I mean, in his defense, it's a common ancestor. He's really yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's thinking about the windmills in the ocean. Yeah, the wind farms out there. Yeah, the wind farms sure, and maybe let's, the whales let's are be kind in that way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's no, no, the whales of... jump really high. The first thing I thought of, and if Troy was here, she'd say the same thing, is whales is really a big thing in Scientology. <laughs> it's the people who donate all the money, so we, so their term in Paula. Oh, that's what they call it. Yeah, in gambling, yeah. that's it. Yeah, whales casinos. are the bigger. The Somebody bigger, text yeah. Paula and tell her to get her ass here. She can't possibly be at the Hollywood Bowl again. Okay, yeah. Rob, Mono, Kevin, Deborah. Well, this is from another Trumpism, which he uh, got the uh, the the spread confused with the terrorist group. Uh, team uh, four says Trump thinks putting uh, Hamas on bagels is in good taste. <laughs> what? What yeah, that's good. He he oh, pronounced what? it hummus twice in the same oh. <laughs> and and he said they're geniuses. Hummus is bless your heart. Yeah. I, I have I have yeah. an affin I, I feel bad for people who mispronounce things. I, I really do, but you know, in his case, I'm I'm not gonna let him I okay. understand there's a club for that. Susan. You mean you mean things like Washington and nuclear? <laughs> yeah, that's that's and, and supposed, I, only supposedly, Washington have a problem supposedly with Washington has pictures. Supposedly, yeah. Supposedly. Gail, Bill, Janine, and Peggy, who are you playing as tonight? Do you have it, Janine? Do you want me to put it in? Oh, you can put it in. All right. We are Let's Clean the Chicken Shit House. <laughs> this is a reference to two things. One is what Janine's been doing today. Oh. And, and the other is, um, you know, the house in Washington. 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 I now, have Peggy been to her... immediately thought it was talking about the house. <laughs> I have been to Janine's ho uh, chicken chicken uh, thing many times. In fact, when I go to visit Janine, almost the first thing I say is, "Can I go see the chickens?" Aww. <laughs> then I wander off and I go to the chickens. I'm the heck. Now the chickens yeah. can just come to you. They wander all over. Well, that's mm -hmm. good. Okay, so we're about ready. So we've got Scalise. Please pack your valise, and we have we support Israel, and we have beware the windmills. They kill whales. Versus Trump thinks putting Hamas on bagels is in good taste versus let's clean the chicken shit house. Oh, my gosh. Like Wendy said, we are living in really interesting times. Just when you think that it hasn't gotten strange, it gets stranger and scarier and just, oh, my gosh, I can't. It's, can't even believe it. Anyway, so Paul, here we go. Go ahead, Wendy. Paul, I can't come. What's her I problem? Suppose, oh, am I cute? She's getting her taxes done. That's not a valid excuse. She's reporting the receipt. She's at the office getting them done. Yeah, if you got two extensions like we did this year, you, you just hit the last deadline. Ah. Oh. I know. Mine are I done. That's why I'm here. 
Wow. Well, I just bite the bullet and pay, even though I hate it. And I'm like on bread <laughs> and water for a few weeks, but oh, anyway. Okay. <laughs> so here, here we go. Uh, Ron, you are in charge. Go for it, dude. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I was number one. Um, do we I'm have number a one? You're I... number one. <laughs> <laughs> do we have a uh, right. mutator? A mutator? Uh, who hasn't done it in a while? I don't see any votes. It's Peggy hasn't. So Peggy's in charge now, and she's scary. I tell you, don't okay. mess with Peggy. Uh, hang on a second. Something just happened here. There we go. Hey, Robin. Okay, Robin right. went back to work today, right? Peggy. Huh. Robin went oh, yeah, back. Yeah, she's work. at work today. Yeah, she should. Okay, she'll probably check in. All right, Ron. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So sorry. That's okay. So, as you can probably guess, uh, there's a slight hint behind my head here. Um, <laughs> however, my topic is or category, I guess. No, Festivus is not one of the answers. However, all my uh, category or all my questions are about either festivals or events going on that are right up there with Festivus in terms of what they're all about. So you need to figure out oh. from my clues what these festivals are oh, that people fun. celebrate. Okay, that'll be fun. Okay, oh. if somebody would like to uh, immolate or whatever. Mute all three, two, one. <clears throat> and I'll even remember to unmute. Okay. Number uno. This eerie performance occurs in Mexican regions, mainly Guerrero, during the Holy Week's Easter festivities. This ceremonial, ceremonial dance features children garbed as members of the, you're going to have to pardon my pronunciation, the Xipidre or the Catharde avian family, embodying themes of death and rebirth. Sorry about the uh, indentations here. So you have to figure out what festival this is for. And if you know your Latin, you might be able to figure it out. Number two. On Cooper's Hill in the parish of Brockworth Gloucester, a nine pound item is rolled from the very top of the hill and competitors chase after it down to the bottom. The first person across the finish line is crowned winner with the item as their prize. Originally, the aim was to catch this item. However, with its one second head start and how quickly it gained speed, this became very difficult and dangerous. In the past, spectators have been injured by the rolling item. And in 2013, it was actually replaced by a foam replica for safety reasons. Oh, what a shame. What festival is this one? I could really work on my uh, alignment here a little better. Well, this one's better. Maybe not. Okay. This is an annual Japanese festival held each spring at the Kanaya uh, Kanayama Shrine in Kawasaki, Japan. The exact dates vary. The main festivities fall on the first Sunday in April. The central theme of the event is reflected in illustrations, candy, carved vegetables, decorations, and Makoshi Parade. The festival is centered on the Kanayama Shrine, where the god Kanayama Hiko and the goddess Kanayama Hime are venerated. They are both gods of blacksmithing, metalsmithing, and metalworks, and are also prayed to for easy childbirth, marital harmony, and protection from sexually transmis transmitted infections. The festival started in 1969. Today has become something of a tourist attraction and is used raise, to raise money for HIV research. Katniss, get off there. Okay. Oops. Uh, all right, got to get rid of the cat. <laughs> Catness. Okay, hopefully I got this one on here. Dubbed the world's largest food fight, this festival is a yearly spectacle in Buñol, Spain, that draws enthusiastic attendees worldwide. Thousands convene to engage in a spirited hour-long contest of hurling a certain food product. 
And I can't give you the name of the food product because that would tend to give you the name of the festival. Okay, here's one that I know Jamie's team is going to have a major leg up on. Envision a grand feast with an unusual guest list, macaques. Held annually in Lobpuri, Thailand, this festival treats local simians to an elaborate spread of fruits, vegetables, and sweets. Activities include dances, live performances, and of course, a lavish macaque tea party where the animals are spoiled with two tons of food, including bananas, cucumbers, eggs, sweets, and soft drinks. Hang on a second, cat. Another cat. <laughs> that darn cat. Hello, Ron. He's got a cat problem. Cat's got his tongue. Oh, oh Carolyn. Ooh, that was a good one. Deborah's internet just dropped on her again. Oh, the cat killed his headset. Can't hear you, Ron. Can't hear you. The wire. Deborah's going to finally come back, and it's going to be the same question. <laughs> so wait a minute, Ron. Can you hear us? Shake your head yes if you can hear us. Can okay, you hear, can you hear me now. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. No, All we right. can't hear you. No, I'm oh. here. <laughs> I'm mean, being facetious. I'm going to get you, Faith. All right, sound may not be great, but um. Yeah, the cat pulled my headset out and his cats. My God. So I'm gonna have to fix that later. But in the meantime, I will continue. We can hear you. Yeah, well, I'll have to yell because I'm talking through the speakers on the on the phone. On the you computer. don't have to yell. It's just as loud as before. It's a it's a little echoey, but that's just fine. You sound oh. great. Okay. Okay, number six. This festival's historical carnival celebrated in Ivrea, Italy, which involves the throwing of certain fruit as a representation of a rebellion against tyrants. This festival commemorates a revolt against a cruel ruler in the 12th century, and participants are divided into nine teams representing different social classes. The festival lasts three days from Sunday to Shrove Tuesday and is played between the nine teams of Aranseri on foot, who represent the people who revolted, and the Aranseri on horse drawn carriages, who played the feudal arm, the role of the feudal armies. Number seven. For all divers and music enthusiastic, uh, enthusiasts, this festival in the Florida Keys is the place to be. Founder Bill Becker took music festivals to a whole new level with the aim to create awareness for choral presentation preservation. The quirky celebration held in the July and July at the Louis Key Reef has been running for more than 25 years, welcoming hundreds of snorkelers. The event houses pre-selected radio playlists and ocean-themed songs streaming oh live from underwater speakers along, the musician along with musician divers and local artists playing whimsical instruments, giving an absolute visual treat for all. Hmm? Thanks, Nathan Romero. Romero. For some you. reason, you're not muted. Oh. <laughs> um, be careful what you say, because we can hear you. <laughs> okay, well, we don't know this answer. <laughs> okay, number eight. This is a fire festival typically held every year between January to March among various communities in Shetland, Scotland, that marks the end of the Yule season. Shetland boasts of its Norse connection and celebrates Viking culture by parading down the cobblestones, blazing torches held up high as they make their way through the dark streets. The festival that began in the 1880s draws thousands of locals and tourists alike to honor the rich heritage for the world to see. For number nine. 
This festival takes place annually to celebrate the Catholic feast of Corpus Christi. During the festival, men dressed as the devil wear red and yellow suits holding whips and oversized castanets to jump over certain items who lie on the mattresses in the street. The 1600s cultural festival is believed to ward off evil spirits, ensuring a safe passage through life. Though it was originally only a local custom, people from around the region have started bringing their items to be blessed in the unusual ritual in recent years. And knowing what these items are would definitely help you with this one. Unfortunately, there are no Canadians that are here today other than me. Oh, yeah, this last one I put in there just for them. Not even Jim or Vincent, yeah. And Jim's not there, Vincent's not there. Adrian, they, no. they must have known about this one. Number 10, winters in the north are extremely harsh that you wouldn't imagine stepping outside without headwear in case your hair freezes. Yet Canada has managed to dedicate an entire festival to creating the most bizarre frozen hair sculptures. Every year, the town of Whitehorse, Yukon, holds the competition, which involves contestants soaking their heads in the water, and then when lifted, the cold temperatures outside will slowly start to sculpt ice buckyers. This unusual festival is held in February, and the winners are announced in March. I gotta look that one up after we get this done. And I know. those are your 10 questions. <laughs> are, are the winners still alive when the results are announced? They didn't say that. Uh, there's something <laughs> about whether it's, you can get it posthumously. So. Everything else is heated except your head, I guess. All right, great. This looks different and fun. We haven't done anything like this before. Can Somebody went to send us our rooms. Okay. I I'll put I Deborah see. in whenever she gets back. Finally, she's still trying Run. to get back in. Run All right, time. no questions. Then I'm going to send. Hey, to... I have a question. Oh, in some of the things you mentioned, certain unspecified items, like number two in Gloucester. Do you want the name of the festival for all these things, right? Not the items that are unspecified. Correct. Yeah. I want the name of the festival or event. Um, the reason I put the word in item is because if I told you specifically what that item is, it would pretty much yeah. give away the name of it. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. And you're off. Okay, Gail's in five. And Kevin is in four. Go ahead. I'm in one. Hello. Hello, team. At least we have Susan. Susan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be a big help in this. Number two is the cheese festival. Well, I knew it was cheese, but I think it's called cheese something else, like cheese wheel or cheese. The is it cheese, cheese festival? festival? The is Wheel it, of Cheese Festival. Well, it's probably something in in well. Cheese. Can you imagine chasing a giant thing? <laughs> cheese. Oh my god! I just care of the cutie. Mow 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 mow. No ginger tea. Okay, let me think. Um, it's the Wheel of Cheese Festival. I think number three might be Oban, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that's we have an Oban festival uses? here. Because we have an Oban, but that's not until usually July, so I'm not sure. We just have Oban is for is like the kids' day, isn't it? Hmm? The kids' day. Is it Oban the like kids' day? We used to have an Oban festival. I don't know. And it had Well, I I think number three is is the where they have all the giant penises. And they make penis popsicles, penis lollipops, like wooden it's, penises, it's metal a, penises. Yeah, metal penises, wooden penises. It's all about. Okay, that's not the Oban festival that's here. That's not the Oban. No. <laughs> yeah. So, is, so what is it called? The penis festival? That's what I'm going to guess is the penis festival. No. It, don't they call it lingam or something? I don't know what it is in Japanese. How do you say penis in Japanese? I don't know. Oh, Arigato. I don't know. Thank you. Chopstick. But, okay. Penis Festival. Mm -hmm. The Japanese Penis Festival. Or they use tomatoes, right? Yeah, four is the Tomato Festival. 
the COVID, the tomato festival? I don't know, but it is. Romero, you don't know number one? No, uh, I, I didn't. I didn't grow up there. Hmm. You're our only hope. <laughs> None of that looks familiar. Hmm. Number I mean, five, I, no clue. I don't know anything about Guerrero. Oh, f five. It's they're monkeys, right? That the macaques, they're primates. Yeah. Yeah, but mm -hmm. isn't it like a? I think I've heard of this where it's just like they're they're monkey. The I mean they're all over the place and it's just this wild, crazy. You know what I mean? Oh, it's just, the monkey festival. I don't know. What did you? What did they call them? When did you just they, said it? Oh, um, primates. Didn't you call it by the name, the proper name for the? No. Oh, I thought you had. Well, oh, cats That that was. Oh, the... oh, it's in the thing. Maquette Festival. Maquette. Yeah, Maquette Festival. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, Maquette Festival. Okay, six. In Italy, they throw a type of food for for the Philippines. What kind of food would it be? No. Coconuts, bananas, olives, olives. Apples. Italy is known for olives. Olives, oh, okay. No idea what that is. Let's go with the Olive Festival. Unless you can think of which, one, which one is the six. Six. Okay. okay, seven. We don't know this one. I called it the under the sea, but that's a complete guess. Better than what I would have come up with. The under the sea festival. Hmm. I'm thinking of Sebastian. <laughs> Under the sea. I know. Okay. Eight is. Wow. <laughs> the fire that. Um... Norse Odin. I, I was don't... thinking it was, it was a lot like California. We had a lot of fires. <laughs> fires all the time. But... Well, it's the end of Yule, so. The Yule Festival? No, it's the end of Yule to signify the bringing of spring. Spring, yeah. Let's see, is that Beltane or? Let's go with Beltane. That's the closest. Okay. In number nine, it's a broom, right? You step over that's the broom. Right, but... Is it the brooms? But I don't know if that's. You said you've seen pictures. Would... Is it the broom festival or broom go with that. jumping festival? So I put broom. That's a guess, but let's call it the broom festival. And you said that you've seen number ten. I've seen number ten where they've talked about the winners of the contest. About hairbrained. I think it's like it's not just like the head the head on their hair, it's even the mustaches. It's like who can create these really elaborate mustaches too with the eyes. And it's So who's the like god of the nor you know god of winter, um, Norse from folk folklore or something? Well, I know there's like Jack Frost. Mm -hmm. Sounds good as. Why not? Would the yeah. Canadians say Jack Frost, or would they use some weird phrase? Jacques Jacques Frost. Or no, I would think like what so like it would be something like the polar plunge, but it would be like the polar beard. No, what would you like call hair? Oh, here comes Karen. The like the polar Karen, 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 the Karen. Polar hair. The Polar Hair Festival. The polar, polar, 
Polar hair. Polar hair yeah. fest. I like that. It sounds like a festival. And which one haven't we have anything for? One and Most five. Of them. <laughs> did we come? What did we come up with? Five. The McKay Festival. It wouldn't be my favorite because it's in the question. I don't fucking care. Like, oh, we're going to bring yes. some ones back. Well, I make my cat feet. You're making cat feet? I'm making cat feet. I'm making a rainbow barking cat scarf. So here's the rainbow. Okay. Got and that. I'm making the cat body where the cat will bark this out. I'm making it for a charity. Mm. It's how so will the cat how big will the cat be the cat's just big enough to be able to hold this inside of it mm. so it's like this is the pattern i don't know if you can see it mm. very well here we go oh there's the cat oh, I see. Yeah. oh so it will fold up into the cat It'll fold up inside of its mouth and then you can wrap it around and the cat will hang down on your side. Oh, that's I'm clever. Making it, I'm making it for a um, the local blind school here for the state. They're having a fundraiser next month and so I'm making it for their silent auction. Oh, that's that's going to make some money. That's I hope it will. Good. I'm also going to make some turtle coasters. It's a turtle that the shell... There's six coasters that look like the shell, but they fit inside the turtle. And then when you take them out, you can push the turtle inside of its shell. So cute. That is very clever. That's good. That's that's really good faith. That should make Would one good. have anything to do with like ravens or something, maybe? One? What's number one? The Mexican festival. I think, I mean, there are birds. Uh, either are Catharius ravens. Cathartita. Let's go with that. Oh, well, what's the bird that represents your birth? That represents what? How about like a, a chicken? Rebirth, the phoenix. Ooh. What is raven in Spanish? Cuervo. What is it? Cuervo? Mm -hmm. Oh, like Corvus. Uh, Mexico also likes the eagle because they have it on the flag. Yeah, that's true. Oh, what's the eagle? So it could be an eagle. Maybe the eagle festival. Is it, is it two birds? I don't know. Yeah, it's two birds. Uh, so eagle and... That's Trade and Catardia. Catardia. What do you think they are? I mean, in, in Spanish, eagle is uh, ag aguila. Aguila. So that could be the first one. The eagle and raven festival. Do you think that that's raven? Cathartia? No, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know. I completely guess just because it was oh, talking raven about rebirth, death and rebirth. So that's why I was thinking raven of death and rebirth. I don't know. Chicken. I don't know. But I don't know. Well, eagle and raven sounds better than eagle and chicken. Don't you think? It's like majestic. Uh, eagle. eagle and you, Are raven. you saying chickens aren't majestic, Susan? I love chickens. Or but chicken. they're not, I love I don't, chicken they're not on the same scale as an eagle. They're, that's so a joke. Kind of. Eagle and raven or raven and eagle, what are we doing? Uh, uh, yeah, we can do. What about both raven and eagle festival? So saying sure. both? I don't know. I mean... Does that even it, ring I mean, a bell to anybody? <laughs> no. no. I never heard of it. And I'm from Mexico and I've never heard of this. You're going to call it the Phoenix? Well, you're not, your, your family's not anywhere near Guerrero, right? No. Yeah. No. Me, I don't know anybody from there. They also didn't... He should gone in Jalisco, but not Guerrero. 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 I know some Guerreros. Mm -hmm. Guerreros, we just say. I know a Guerrero. Yeah. So I guess yes. they're from Guerrero. Well, he's, he's actually from, I want to say Peru, I think. Mm. He means a uh, warrior. Guerrero. Guerrero.
the word Guerrero. Well, then that fits the eagle. All right, yeah. I guess we're the eagle festival. We're, we're going with the eagle festival. Yeah. Okay, I, I just need to know what to write down. And if 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 it's Raven, then we got it too. <laughs> we'll, we'll just we'll berate we'll berate Alan when he comes back. Okay. Do we have so, Alan? It's Ron. Or oh, Ron, that's right. I've yeah. had too much wine. Oh, um. Really. Yeah, it's been a week. It's been a week. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Susan, I was so thankful for Sam and Lee. I mean, they were they were big helps and stuff, but there was a couple of people that I didn't know where they were going with their questions. <laughs> and Lee, Lee was, you know, I think even he kind of had that look of where this coming from, but he's very good about, you know. Like what kind of questions were you getting? Like what what's a skeptic or? Um, well, they were asking us what our opinion was. I think it had something to do with like, Oh, 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 should a transgender boy be put on a girl's team and stuff? And we were like, what the frig does this have to do with skepticism? But anyway, <laughs> and I did, I just kind of asked, um, are you talking about gender or sex? And well, good and then, for you. And then luckily, you know, Lee kind of carried it off on that. And, you know, but it was just really good to have him there because I was just like, what are you doing? With that? You know what I mean? <laughs> So, so you guys sound like you're done or you oh yeah we're done both? go ahead and close the doors we're we're done yeah okay okay well everyone else I love our answers all right we'll cl Very close creative. the doors Romero knew them all there you go <laughs> I, knew, I knew to skip how to skip them <laughs> carolyn did you get any like questions about gsow or no Would, a few um, you know i because I had the the postcards there, so I did get a few and and asking you know what it was and and we actually when I talked um, up on the stage, I made sure I mentioned uh, oh, that's cool. you know, about time and and what we do with Wikipedia and stuff. So I made sure I included that you know because like five minutes before David Diskin's like, oh, you're going to be talking, and I'm like, excuse me, what? Say what now? Ah. Uh, um, that it's better fun. that they spring it on you. Yeah. So, and like my friend Jolene, who was in the next booth over with the the Stockton atheist, she's like, Carolyn, there's like ten people here. It's not a big deal. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> okay, you know, she she put it in perspective for me. So, yeah, that's true. Carolyn, when do you get to a uh, Psycon? Wednesday night evening. Wednesday night? afternoon. I don't know. Wednesday afternoon. So. Okay. And Wendy, you don't know what time, but it's on Tuesday sometime, right? Yeah. Uh, if it starts to drag, like if if it's if it's getting to be around two o'clock, I'll try to light a fire. You know, I get it that Heather just has that that chronic pain, and I don't. And I, but I have had that kind of pain in the past, and I and I remember. But I also, I just don't want it want it to get too late i want to i want to get to las vegas and start oh my god we're going to be sitting there waiting for you i get there tuesday around 12 40 i think i okay. downloaded the app to the to caesars i did that today i was talking to brian dunning and and we were talking about it and i downloaded the app and then i pulled up my hotel reservation so that we can get through the hopefully go to that kiosk the answers there well put the same answer for six as you did for four okay for all of the rest of the empty spaces okay <laughs> i think ron's plan is to come up with trivia rounds that will just that will discourage us from ever asking him to do another trivia you said round. that before and he came uh, back oh, this hey, is interesting. you guys you guys let me back i don't understand this, this is why my wife never lets me do the laundry because i put all the whites in with the color oh wait is this being recorded she better not <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Karen. I just make my this husband can. go back and do it again. Ooh. I'm not letting like you talk to my like wife. Do it until it's right. I put everything well, in together. I don't give a crap. There's no going back. I'm never everything, letting you talk to my good. wife, Jenny. Everything goes she, in together. Is she coming to Psycon? Of course I'd love not. to meet her. That's part of the reason why. 
I'd like to meet her too. Karen, Karen, if you're not on a team yet, we'll be you'll be on our team very soon because we're gonna have a zero. Oh. She's already on a team. Oh. <laughs> All right, Ron, what you got? Okay, so I'm obviously going for the lowest uh, average score, the sounds of it. Um, all right, so for number one, uh, and by the way, I'm probably going to be very lax. I told a couple of the teams, if you can even come close, unless somebody gets it exact, I may give, uh, okay. give you the, uh, we appreciate uh, the, that. the points your, anyways. Your own team appreciates that. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just okay. not my own team. Um Okay, so the first one here, the main reason why I came up with these strange Latin names for the avian families is because it is Danza de los Zapilotes or the Dance of the Vultures. Oh. <laughs> so if you got oh the vultures goodness. part in there, um, no, which is we said ben. eagle and, and ravens. Yeah. Uh, those we had the... Dance of the Vultures. Do you believe that? It was a guess. Good job. All right. I, I'm, I'm impressed, though. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I knew what the uh, Latin names meant, so it's so let's go with vultures. Wow. Right. And it looks like it says co-pilots. Vultures is a funny word in Spanish. Kevin, the puppy is cute. Yeah. Yeah. Now, for, for number two, if you figured out that the item that they're rolling down the uh, the hill is a cheese um, roll, Ooh. Yep. Yep. Then job, you would Anna. figure out that this is the cheese rolling festival. Yay! I think so. Now they use I think I've cheese. seen videos of this. This is just crazy. Yeah, you could you could check it out on YouTube. What's There's the lots of good videos of on there. Are we good enough with cheese festival? Because we knew the cheese yeah. was rolling down. Or we said cheese. cheese. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. One. Yeah, you, you can kind of figure out that it's probably rolling, given the um, the basic thing here. The context <laughs> now. Number three, I heard a whole lot of folks coming very close on this one, but I don't know if I heard anybody getting it exactly right. So the Japanese is the Kanemara Matsuri, or as we all would like to call it, the Festival of the Steel Phallus. Oh, cool. <laughs> Why didn't we just said the Penis Festival? <laughs> I'm afraid not on this one. I'm Kanemari. going to have to be exact. Okay, Ron, how about I am a Phallus Festival? The what? We oh, yeah, the camera, the if you get that, you know, we that have one, to call the penis a phallus now? You, you got to have the, you get your phallic uh, You're term politically correct, correct there. It, it's a logical okay. fallacy. Uh, where did you get <laughs> that right. from? <laughs> okay. Well, Faith so... was all over the penis festival. <laughs> Side note, everyone should be watching uh, Naked Attraction. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> right now? Is that a movie? No, it's a TV, it's a TV series about dating, and they start with nude bottom half of everybody's body that you might be dating anyway continue <laughs> i haven't seen that one yet well okay. they're probably beautiful people with beautiful bottom halves mm -mm, all types and shapes okay number four um i think everybody figured out that we we're talking about tomatoes the official name is la tomatina is uh, tomatoes oh, no. <laughs> If if you came up with the tomato festival, I'm going to give this one Yay. to you because tomatina is tomato. So a tomatina. Yeah. It's a little tina, little tomato. Yes. Okay. Penises. And I had to use macaques, which are actually the type what? of thing that's what? in there. <laughs> you know, you I don't know about that have. word though. You, you, you guys get one. off the phallus uh, <laughs> guy already? Okay. So the official name of this one is the monkey buffet buff festival. Uh, <laughs> oh, we came up with something. Monkey festival. Monkey festival now, when I first saw this, I thought it was a because this is Thailand. It, this was a festival where you're eating monkey, but no, they are feeding the monkeys. <laughs> oh, at I think the I festival. have seen this. Is the we monkey festival good enough, Ron? Did anybody yeah. get the monkey buffet festival? What if we put buffet for monkeys instead? That well, yeah, I give you if you get that, then I'm going to give you that one, but and not yeah. monkey festival because you got the buffet in there. Uh, so we need buffet. Well, that was a good guess. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. the question because somebody got all the right words in there. That uh, we're gonna, you got to have buffet yeah. in there. But but the whole question implied that food was involved. So 
Uh, I don't think we're going to. It could have been a la carte. This is buffet. Yeah. <laughs> if you <laughs> not a la, accept <laughs> penis in lieu of phallus, you cannot accept food. Could have been room buffet. service too. Right. Right. That's right. Yes. Well, the it did diner has service. spoken. I have spoken. Yeah. Okay. The next Think one again. Food. Everybody figured out what I think what the fruit was or the the food product is. This is called the Battle of the Oranges. No, I never uh, heard of uh, this. I thought that was we in the Netherlands. <sighs> Me? I, I have to admit I'm a little hurt because I did this category in July of 2022 yeah, and up. nobody uh, fucking remembers. <laughs> I did, and I did. I remember we had the question about tomatoes, and then I was like, I think I remember the thing about Italy. including Peggy. I think I think yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, Peggy. I think you 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 made it a little bit different. You sometimes ask what was the fruit or what was yeah, as opposed yeah. to I like yeah. around better. It wasn't the name of the, the festival. Around. Yeah. You thought of your team. Number, number, number seven. Ron, I think Ron, what, if we had oh. orange festival, was that good enough? It's the battle, battle of the oranges. It's really yeah. the battle of the battle. oranges. So. Orange I don't yeah. want anybody to have points if I can't oh, have we don't get it That's for right. orange. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now you gotta have the battle of the oranges. Now, you number seven, one it. team got it. I don't know if they guessed or whether they've heard of it, but it's the Underwater Music Festival. <laughs> we really? totally oh, my God. We okay. did. That <laughs> was a guess. I have I have that written down, the Underwater Music Festival. But There's, I think it was a guess, right? Wow. Uh, we got That's more. kind of described it. That's why. Okay. It's for number eight, people. I could not find a translation <laughs> for this. I've looked, and therefore, the only answer that's acceptable is if you guess that it is the up heli ah <laughs> we got so sure. close oh, we were so oh, we close. got hell in there yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody got hell in there yep you're not allowed to do a category again yeah <laughs> yeah but bill you took away one of the l's remember so i don't you don't well, get it except that that's how how her name is spelled yeah i, I know i don't know why they put it back in there but i guess because he's kind of helly just not exact um Next one, uh, the it's the World El Calacho or the Baby Jumping Festival. The baby items baby. that we're talking about were babies. We said the Baby Festival. Is Wait, that good did enough? we uh, sell the baby babies or popes? What? Uh, I Karen? think it, it's the Baby Jumping, jumping Festival. So yeah, we said the we're jumping babies. babies. So babies, we didn't great. get it, Bob. I great. thought it was brooms. I'm sorry. We, it was my first guess, but Bob talked me at the babies. 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 Jump over a cow. Now, for number 10, I'm phalluses. sure that a They're bunch of you go over phalluses. Yes. Wait, wait. Uh, Ron, did you yes. say baby festival is not acceptable? No, you, you, need, you need the jumping part. Because oh. oh. the festival is the jumping part, not just having a bunch of babies lying around. So. Sorry. Say I got to keep these scores low so you guys will stop Ron, asking me to do this again. You fall on Ron, your baby. Wasn't that That's one... the baby crushing festival. That's a different Didn't that one. Didn't ask for the item? Didn't that question ask for no. the item? No, they're oh. all for the festival. Oh, damn. Yeah. It could have been a babysitting contest. Now, That's I think all. for number 10, everybody overthought this one because the answer really is the international hair freezing contest. Oh. Oh. I, I, I remember well, you we the it. polar hair festival. You got, that before. <laughs> you got that one. Ron, <sighs> when we had that one before. Didn't Adrian do that or somebody did that? Peggy no, did I did it. it. Peggy did it. Peggy. I remembered it, Peggy. I remembered it. Well done. There you wow. Go. Somebody remembered something. We're wrapping it in, Karen. <laughs> no, no, it was only one. It was only one. <laughs> so he remembers the one. <laughs> Is this the Highlander category? There can be only one. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that means that Ron is definitely doing a category next week because he's got to do it until he can get these things right. Okay. Oh my I have God. a bonus that'll make this one easy. <laughs> All right, let's do our scores. Let's clean the kitchen chicken shit out of the house. <laughs> I think we got five. Right. Good job, chicken shitters. Wow. Um, Trump thinks putting Hamas on bagels is in good taste. Who? <laughs> Karen's like, what? <laughs> he said Hamas instead of hummus. What? No, he said hummus instead of Hamas. How many points? Two. Okay. This Beware the, the wind. Time Karen's heard the names. <laughs> no, she hasn't heard. Beware <laughs> the windmills. They kill whales. 
Wow. All right. Good job, Will Killers. Okay, the next one is we support Israel, and I'm not pronouncing the rest of it. <laughs> do, do it, Jamie, so that Karen can hear you. Oh, no. Um, that wasn't Israel. it. Yeah, <laughs> Israel. That sounds very pretty. Israel. Okay, how many Israel? points did how many points you guys? Three. Three. All right. You've got 3.75 so far. And you haven't heard your own team score yet. Scalise, please pack your valise. <laughs> what I the think hell? We got two. I think we got I think we have three. Oh, okay. Make up your mind. Which what do we got? Three. 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 Okay, we'll take three. That gives you a three point six. That's still better than my punch and duty. <laughs> you I, haven't I tanked it yet. Not could I beat the lighthouse? Oh yeah, you beat lighthouse a lot. Was lighthouse yeah. a bonus? No, no I don't think so. What about Roger and Niebuhr? That was a bonus. So that doesn't the count. Lighthouse was not a bonus. It was precisely how many millimeters is the widest uh, <laughs> glass wow. in the lighthouse in the world. <laughs> Luga, name Luga the latitude and longitude at which it is within six decimal places. I want to name. I want the name of the lighthouse, not where it's located, but the Wait, name. Lou, we miss Lou. I don't know. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Or Lou, but no, uh, uh that was no. We don't uh, miss those questions. No, we don't miss those questions at all. Okay, so good job, ish, Ron. You still have not taken. <laughs> I mean, if you're trying to go for the lowest, you're not even close. So, Yay, Ron. so there, I have a Yay, goal Ron. to aim for. All right. <laughs> Most hated categories. Okay, we're putting yeah, you down I got for that one down. Now. All right. No, no, you sure don't. Not yet. So, Jamie. You are next. What you got for us? Okay. This is a continuation of a few weeks ago when I did the same category. Oh, I so, don't know if we should be letting you do these things anymore. Not after what's going on. No. Oh. You go just, someplace and something bad happens. There's more problems. It is always. <laughs> I know. I, did, I, I actually thought of this category weeks ago, but unfortunately... Yeah, well, somebody better, nobody better, well, Peggy better not mention Mary, Mary Jo, uh, what was it, Mary, Mary Jo? Mary Renton. Renton. God, how awful. How does somebody what? like that not have insurance? What? That's scary. Welcome to America. I know, for reals, but still, America's sweetheart and Jim, okay, I'm sorry, Jamie, I keep interrupting everybody. I'm no, so that's okay. You're around people. Okay, so. What happened to Mary Lou Renton? She's got pneumonia and, and she's in serious mm. shape. Yep. Oh, really? Hospital. Bad, oh, I didn't know. That off. She's in like serious shape. Her daughter came out Thank and said you. she's like hanging on, barely hanging on in the hospital with pneumonia. Really? Oh, she's 55. And she says, and we don't have any insurance. No medical oh, insurance. God. What? No yeah. health insurance? That's... Nope. She says we need help paying the bills. We are we I don't have think she's no ever had a job either. Well, she's she's Just been in all sorts of stuff. Spokesperson for different, you know, serious. She's been in TV commercials and, and all kinds of stuff, but she's no. I don't know. Well, then she should have motion picture health and welfare. Wow. She's a gymnast from the Olympics. Yeah, she doesn't have did, anything. Did, did Jamie visit her? No. Jamie visited her. Jamie killed her. Yeah. Jamie, Jamie she's not dead yet. <laughs> okay. No, not yet. I have to go get her. Jamie's drunk. Okay. I'll be right okay, back. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Jamie. If somebody's okay, so already it's... sick, it doesn't count for mentioning their name as the curse. Mm. Well, Betty, That's why? Right? She was it's 900. Okay name if they're already sick. Yeah. Nobody mentioned Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> oh, is he dead? No. Did you just kill him? <laughs> Yo, seriously. You have a secret grudge against Dick Van Dyke. Why did you say that, Karen? Why are you ruining the last thing of hope I have from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Fuck it's y'all. time. It's <laughs> time to mute everyone. Mute in three, two, one. Okay, mute. I told you she's she's tough. Okay. Okay, all set. Yeah. Go back. Okay, some places I visited that suffered disasters, part two. After you were there. Yeah, well, before and after. Okay, number one. One of the oddest places I visited is the DMZ that separates North and South Korea. Right on the desolate frontier is a large amusement park built by the South Koreans. Locals say it's the only place in the world where you can ride a roller coaster with death and famine in the background. A popular tourist attraction is a tunnel discovered in 1978, 
which was built by the North under the DMZ. It was designed to allow Northern troops to stage a surprise attack on Seoul. How many soldiers can this tunnel accommodate per hour if an attack took place? Plus or minus 5,000 soldiers per hour. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. It's very, it's very, it was very strange walking inside the tunnel. Okay, number two. <clears throat> in July of 2005, I was in a business meeting at a company in this major European city when dozens of police cars and ambulances sped by, sounding their sirens. We later learned that this was in response to four coordinated suicide attacks that took place that day by Islamic terrorists who targeted commuters on public transport, killing 56 people and injuring 784. What city was this? Happy category. Okay. Do we have Ron back? No. <laughs> <laughs> it just made me smile. I know. Okay, number three. In 1986, the fallout cloud caused by the Chernobyl explosion passed over Jerusalem, where we lived at the time. The government encouraged everyone to stay indoors and bring in laundry. Later that year, during our trip to Bucharest, Romania, we were fed beefsteak in a back alley eatery available only to those able to pay with Western currencies. We later learned that this meat may have come from Chernobyl contaminated cows that came from this Northern European nation. This beef was supposed to have been discarded but some seem to have ended up on Romanian dinner plates. Name this country. Made big news back then. Number four. In 2010, eruptions of a large, of a large volcano in this country interrupted air travel over much of Europe for nearly a month. This country is home to the Blue Lagoon, a luxurious resort that we enjoyed numerous times. Name this country. Number five. During this volcanic period, I had to fly to India on a business trip heading eastwards over the Atlantic. Because of restricted airspace, the first leg of the trip was rerouted southwards over Africa. I landed in this African nation where I spent five days touring. Very surprisingly, most of the small local eateries always feature spaghetti, a cultural remnant of the invasion by Italian military under Mussolini in the 1930s. In 1939, local resistance fighters fought against Italian occupation resulting in the Italians dropping 212 kilos of mustard gas on them, killing 1,500. Overall, more than 383,000 civilians were killed by the Italians, where surviving generations still enjoy their spaghetti. Name this African nation. Wow. Number six. In 2012, I was on a business trip in Italy and stayed at an out-of-the-way hotel outside of Rome. On the grounds of this hotel were dozens of people in wheelchairs bandaged with missing limbs or fitted with artificial ones. I spoke to some of these people and learned that they were Libyan civilians who were injured during their country's invasion by the U.S. and other NATO forces months earlier, which finally culminated with the killing of Muammar Gaddafi. They were flown to Italian hospitals for care were staying at this hotel for rehabilitation. How many NATO countries were in total were involved with this Libyan invasion? Plus or minus three. Number seven. In 1995, I was taking a bullet train westwards from Osaka, Japan, and traveled through this city 
destroyed by a 7.0 earthquake a year earlier. 6,400 people were killed, 44,000 injured, and 310,000 were left homeless. Name the city. A lot happens during our trips. This is actually easy to come up with this list. I, I want to see pleasant things the next time. I know. <laughs> Number eight. Our visit to this volcanic island chain was marred by devastating mudslides that destroyed countless homes along its steep slopes. We once considered retiring to these islands, but the severe air pollution caused by African trade winds blowing Saharan dust into its skies convinced us to retire elsewhere. Name this country that consists of seven islands. Okay, number nine. In 2009, when we visited this African nation, a former British colony, local people kept asking us for pencils, which had a far greater trade value than their own currency. Name this nation which Cecil Rhodes claimed for the British crown in 1895 home to the Shona ethnic group of over 12 million people. Pencils. Yeah, they traded in pencils. Hmm. Number 10, when we tour this famous city, the mothers of the Plaza de Mayo were demonstrating weekly in the public square to petition for information on their missing children who disappeared at the hands of their country's military junta from 1976 to 1983. During that time, security forces and death squads hunted down suspected political dissidents, killing over 30,000 and imprisoning over 400,000. Name this capital city. Okay, happy category. <laughs> I did this weeks ago. I didn't think. Oh. All right, everybody. Let's go to our <laughs> rooms. Um, I don't have the power to send anybody, according to what I have down here anyway. No, you have it. Do I? Where is it? I don't know. But you oh, I know where it is. It's here. Breakout rooms. Is it's hiding? Okay. Hey, okay, we're opening all rooms because I don't think Jamie can. Okay, I'm no, I can't. Deborah in her room. She's in four. Nope. Okay, I'm going to two. Okay. I, I should have thought of a happier category, but I did this weeks ago. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. Well, <laughs> should we wait for Jamie to leave? <laughs> they had that one character with a dark cloud over his head wherever he i know was. for real it's like i said i don't think jamie should travel anywhere <laughs> we wow. had, i'm not traveling I guess, I guess i won't be doing a part three of this category <laughs> unless it's happiness you went somewhere and then there was a bunch of bunnies and flowers blew off <laughs> everything it was, was wonderful coming up with this list was actually turned out to be easy so that's i don't know <laughs> <laughs> well, it is an interesting topic, that's for sure. Yeah. Depressing. Okay. Um, okay, number I've one. I've never heard of this tunnel. Has anybody else heard of this? No. no. I've heard of it, but... Uh, you yeah. have? Thousands. Five, a, plus, was, a plus I, or minus of 5,000. I know. I would have guessed like a thousand. Like I, a know. Thousand. I know. I so, know. A thousand I, per hour wouldn't be much of an attack, so... It, well, and it says the tunnel can accommodate. So it's not like they came through a thousand at a time, but I mean, it might be, it must be a long tunnel that could get okay. 50,000 people in. Back on my old, whenever anybody says plus or minus, they usually mean 10%. Yeah. Well, I'm going to guess 50,000 an hour. An hour? I, 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 I just can't even imagine how many mil how many people how many soldiers they have in their military but okay i'm gonna write down well, everybody 000. well and also how in the heck do you build something that wide without anybody I mean, that's the size of a city 
How would they? How would they blocked it off? That's the other thing that it's, I yeah. mean, the tourists are going down there. They must have. I'm looking this up as soon as this category is over. That's yeah. interesting. I kind of remember number two. Um, oh, it's London. I think it's I think London. It was Madrid, London. wasn't it? I, I, I wrote down London. Madrid. I was thinking it was yeah. Spain. Yeah. Oh, I remember oh. the London Underground. Yeah. Hey, what did you say? They call it seven five. That's like our their equivalent of nine eleven. So uh, it was. Do you think it was Lee? Yeah, it was London. I okay. thought it was London oh. as well. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. You know what? I think Madrid. Susan was and I both thought, remembered it as Madrid. I think Madrid was like 2010 or 11 or something. And okay. what year is this? Yeah, people five. In the UK call it seven five, like we say nine eleven. Okay, I just okay, that makes that, that makes all London. the sense. Yeah, because okay. uh, yeah, London was attacked by the Muslims. Right. I think that, like wow. I said, I think Madrid was 2011 or something. Because yeah. I remember going to Madrid in 2017. And I, oh. I remember it wasn't that long ago because I was in the underground. So I remember it was within 10 years. Okay. so Are you okay with that, Jane? Do you feel yeah, absolutely. convinced? Or, okay. Seven is what they call it. Seven, seven, because they reversed month and day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, huh. Yeah. Um, is three Iceland? Was it the volcano in Iceland? Three, I think it was Croatia. Croatia? I don't remember anything in Croatia. Yeah, because Chernobyl's in Ukraine. So Croatia could be. Oh, yeah. Wait, I got my numbers wrong. I don't remember. I'm sorry. I don't Are remember. Did they good with that? Oh, I meant. Or. Um, or it's Iceland. I mean, for it's Finland. Yeah. Croatia or Finland? What? No. Three is. Three oh. were saying Croatia. Okay. Three. I don't think it was Finland, Cindy. Okay. No. For three? No. Okay. I'd go with Croatia. I don't think they raise a lot of beef steak way north like Finland. No. They don't have the land for that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, Croatia's a good guess. Well, they raise frozen beef and they skip the middleman. <laughs> reindeer steak. No refrigerators needed. Yeah, reindeer, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so this look. Oh. Cindy has knows number four. four. Yeah, four. I meant four books. Is that Iceland? my Iceland? Iceland, yeah. Because oh, I remember four. You think? Oh, so I was thinking of a uh, Pacific Island. No, oh, no. Remember, remember, remember Iceland, Iceland shot that up in the air, and people we they couldn't go yeah, from North America. It was getting, getting caught in the engines. Oh, all the, I remember the flights, that. Yeah, the flights going through Europe. Yeah, it says Europe. But it's not. It can't be an island country. It's Europe. Hey, number four, a large vo volcano. Travel over most of Europe. I remember this. Iceland. Yeah. 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 He's okay. referring to number four. He's referring to the same number four. Okay. In five. During this volcanic period, he's referring to four. Okay. Oh. Oh, so oh, see, I was thinking okay. I was thinking about number five. I was thinking oh, of um maybe Morocco. Ethiopia. Oh, okay. Do you feel like you know that? For the Italian invasion. History, history I do pretty good at. This is yeah. That's right. I was trying to think of the I remember hearing about an African country involved in World War II, and I couldn't remember the name. Well, of Ethiopian course, State. I thought of Morocco because I know that they were invaded in World War II, right? Yeah, but I think of Morocco <laughs> mainly as as Middle Eastern, but this is definitely that it was definitely an African country, and I think Lee is right; it was Ethiopia. Oh, well, okay. Okay. Um, Morocco is an African. I mean, right on Northern Africa, right across. It, the it is, but it kind of shares, I think, culture with other Middle Eastern or but it's African. African. It's yeah. not cultural. It's, it's like continental. Forget yeah. Ethiopia. Yeah. 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 Dangerous, um... No, no I think six. There are nine NATO, eight NATO countries, right? I mean, don't they all participate every time? That. Okay, let me see how many people are involved in the invasion. So, I mean, somebody could have just donated money or donated, or nine. Are there eight or donated or nine? weapons or something, but didn't invade? 
because the question is how many were involved in the invasion. So I assume that means actually physically being troops. Plus or minus three. So it's probably <clears throat> something like seven or ten or. You want to say seven, Susan? I don't. I really don't have a number. But I. I don't know. Seven seems safe. I don't know. Plus or minus three seems um, like there. It should be more. Okay, pick a number. Thirteen, fifteen, nine. What's your strategy, Lee? Well, I, in this, my strategy is normally is ten percent, but obviously they want thirty Navy NATO nations. Uh, nine. I would say I would say seven, but. People don't like that. So how about no? Nine? No, it's okay. It's good. Nine? I just, I just, I'm worried about the plus or minus three, but it's, it's well, obviously, logically, it's good. Okay, obviously, let's think of the ones with Germany, UK, Italy, obviously, France, probably not. They don't like to get involved in that stuff. USA. Us for. I don't think did we we did we invade Libya. <laughs> I think we did. Uh huh. And seven probably. That's is. what it says up here in the, in the paragraph: invasion by the U.S. and other NATO forces. So yeah, we invade Libya. Hmm. Okay, I wrote down seven. Oh my gosh. Okay. Bullet train westwards from. Okay, that's Kobe earthquake. K O B I. I believe is what you spell. Oh, that does sound familiar too. Oh, great that you know that. Yay. Yeah, I'm not just another pretty face. Disasters. Indonesia, volcanic island chain. Um, you know, the funny thing is, it was just a week or two ago that um, Jamie was telling me about this, and I just don't know. Oh, Jane, thanks a lot. I cannot remember. Okay, what country has seven islands? Good guesses, you guys. If we knew that. Gosh, if we only knew that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Indonesia has a lot more than that, right? Yeah. yeah. I would think so. Like our Indonesia Indonesia. So it needs to be a country like Philippines. African trade winds blowing you know in the and dust. Fly, but uh... hey. Madagascar? Africa. No, that's that's African. That's off the African coast. Mm. Not the African coast. Um. Well, there's African trade winds. Uh, the the Azores. How about the how about the breakfast or what are those please. Christmas islands or the Azores are in Portugal? Portugal is near Africa. But I don't know if they're volcanic. I'm moving on to the next question. I don't know. You guys. Well, maybe... let's write something down. You want to go with that, Karen? I don't know. The Azores. I know someone who's vacationing in the Azores right now, and it's in Portugal. And the port and Portugal's by Africa. But I don't know if they're volcanic. Yeah. Anybody? Anybody else have something? Azores One. sounds good, yeah. Because okay. It's, uh... Okay, number nine. I know the answer to number nine for sure. Yay! Is it is it Rhodes? Rhodesia. It's Zimbabwe. It's Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Oh, why? Uh, it used to be Rhodesia. Right. Why do they want pencils? I don't know. I guess they couldn't get them. Okay, and I think I know ten. Oh, wonderful! Right. Argentina. Oh no! Yeah, that was the capital. Buenos Aires is Buenos Aires the capital? Duh. No, it's not. That's the country that could have That's Brazil. Buenos Aires is in Argentina, but that's the only city I know in Argentina. Is that the capital of Argentina? I would think so. Okay. Well, okay. it could be. I, I don't I think we know another city. News. This is Pinochet. I think this is okay. during Pinochet's regime. Oh, okay. I think it's over in Chile. Okay. It's on the western <laughs> coast of South America. Well, is Susan, Susan there? Yeah, she's there. Oh, yeah. Can you start the timer? Oh, yeah, sure. Can someone start it? 
Okay, what is the capital of Chile? Um, Santiago. Santiago. Okay. Remember we had that just last week and I pulled I out. I remember us writing that exact and having the same conversation. Yeah, I think and I came I was up in with that the room, only in like the room. Spanish. I said, is that in Chile? Santiago? I think it's Buenos Aires, but ever since, I mean, I'm not, I've been wrong before when I thought I was sure. So um, if Cindy's yeah. sure, let's go with well, Cindy. I think Pinochet was in Chile. He could have been Argentina, but that's where I just remember seeing a map of of a long country Chile. Well, I know, but I mean, the thing uh, is not Pinochet; it's the mothers of the Plaza de Mayo. Of the disappeared. Yeah, that's the. Thing. And they were under Pinochet. Well, there's I, a lot of people around many parts of the world that disappear. No, no, this was a, in this particular country, and they called the people that were declared enemies of the state that disappeared because they got kidnapped and nobody ever saw them again. And they called them yes. the disappeared. I understand all of that. Country. That happens. I, but I'm just of... saying that's, no, Karen, I'm just saying that's, that was related to that particular country. That group of people were called the disappeared during that time period. That's where they came out with that. Right. But the clue here is mothers of the Plaza de Mayo. Yeah. So, were the disappeared and, and and the Chileans associated with? Oh yeah, mother? under Pinochet. Well, we have okay. thirty five seconds. So okay, fine then. The decision. Santiago, it is. Buenos Aires or Santiago? Santiago. Santiago. Cindy is. I guess Santiago. Because I don't remember hearing okay. the other. I can't even pronounce it now. I don't know I enough to be able to wave one way or the other. Yeah. Lee, Susan. Because I cannot solve that. Santiago is fine with me. Okay. I'm just a guest here. Chile. I don't know what <laughs> both of them have. Yeah, do we have an answer for everything? Okay. Is everybody back? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I won't do a part three of this. <laughs> ah, Definitely not. We skipped one. Jane, just write an answer for that one. <laughs> no, I have okay. an answer for everything. Oh, okay, good. Okay, okay, let's get started. Okay, number one, um, by far one of the oddest places I went to was I walked into the tunnel that was discovered. So there were four tunnels that the North Koreans actually built under the DMZ. And when one was discovered in typical South Korean form, they made it into a tourist attraction. I couldn't believe it. So I actually walked through the whole tunnel myself. So the number of soldiers um, per hour is 30,000 per hour. Wow. So it's 25,000 to 35,000 soldiers it, per hour. It, it's, a, it's a whole bunch. A lot. They're wow. small. They're a little high. Big tunnel and small little North Korea. I got to look that up. That sounds small big. little North Korea. How high is the tunnel? Did you have to duck going through? No, mm -hmm. not at all. No. Oh, okay. Walk right through. Uh, okay. can, can you fit equipment for trucks too? What they don't tell yeah. you is they are ant size. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're they very far away. Soldier. 30, don't remember, there's a famine. So the North Koreans are very small. So, <laughs> Number two, I was in a business meeting, actually um, standing in front of a big picture window, and all of a sudden all these ambulances and police cars came by, and there was a bombing of the um, double-decker buses oh. and the underground. In London that day. All right. London. I never remember three, that. Yeah. I do. <laughs> yeah. And number three, um, when Chernobyl exploded, the uh, largest portion of the radiation cloud went over Sweden. Oh. oh. And it was the Swedish who were the ones who discovered that the cloud actually existed. The Russians or the Ukrainians. The Russians didn't admit that there was an explosion. It was discovered by the Swedes, and a major portion went over Sweden that contaminated cows, and uh, milk had to be discarded, and cows were destroyed. But amazingly, um, yeah, they ended up in Romania. Okay, they got shipped illegally. Sweden? And number four, I've lost <laughs> respect for Sweden now. They're seriously. Yeah, that's yeah. what they did. <laughs> uh, number four, um, the Blue Lagoon is this beautiful um, resort in Iceland. Good job. Well done, team. Well done. Cindy did that one. Yep. Good job. Is Brooke Shields there? Always. Yeah, it's nice. Beautiful. She never Number lost five. It. <laughs> Number five. It was odd. I went to this this country 
and ended up that um, I couldn't believe that spaghetti was being served in all the small little restaurants. This is Ethiopia or Eritrea, same thing. All right. Ethiopia. Nice. Good job, team. Hey, yeah. Ramiro. They, you wouldn't expect um, spaghetti to be served in Ethiopian restaurants. Especially after they got, you know, their the shit kicked out of them by the Italians. Of it was the weirdest thing. I ate nothing because it was it was horrible there, and the nothing was sanitary. So I spent five days eating crackers out of packages. I, I didn't dare <laughs> eat in any restaurants. It was disgusting. Well, you Never had your Chernobyl cows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the, back, in the back woods, so whatever they call it. Yeah, but three kills the germs. Yeah. Well, there's. There's a much more to that story. I'll tell Gail that story. We don't have enough time, but there's much more to that story that I didn't tell you guys, but one, one day. Uh, number six, I went to Italy and I found all these people who were talking, they were very nice, who were uh, recuperating from all their, their um, injuries. And the number of countries that participated in the NATO invasion was 14. Wow. Oh, wow. man. Much more than I expected. It was so 11 to 17. So we're going on with you, answer. Kevin. We were a bit low. Yeah. Same okay. Here. So in the question, you didn't say how many countries participated. You said how many NATO countries in total were involved. Na Na just NATO. NATO countries. So yep. all 14 NATO countries? Yes. Participated in that? Okay. I thought, I France, but I thought France uh, refused to allow the uh, American F-111s <laughs> to, to fly, fly over. over. Well, that right. Wasn't... But they were but they were actually, but they had troops. They actually were one of the NATO countries. And I was very surprised. Mm -hmm. right. I remember that. Yep. In um, number seven, I took this train, I took the bullet train west of Osaka and um, we went through Kobe, Kobe, Japan, Whoa. which was yeah, leveled. It was, yeah, it, was one, it was one of the worst um, disasters in Japanese history for earthquakes. Where is awful. Gail? Oh, there she is. Okay, you're right in the middle. Sorry. You were covered Number up eight? by you're being so quiet, Gail. I did I missed you. You're you're covered up by my <laughs> my chat thing. Okay. So seven is seven is Kobe. Number eight, uh, we were considering um, retiring to these islands, but then we decided against it. And that was the Canaries. Canary oh. Islands. Oh. Canaries. Wrong wrong side of Africa. <laughs> it's off the coast, off the western coast. That's why the winds of Africa go from east to west and it blows sand across Morocco and right over the Canary Islands. Good so, instincts, Mono. Yeah. About four months out of the year. Hey, my new yeah. Jane. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you said that he just told you this story. Oh. And you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number nine. When we went to this country, uh, people were using pens and pencils instead of their own currency because their money was devaluated so badly. That was um, Zimbabwe. Wow. Good job, All team. Right. Good job, team. We have a question about the Canary Islands one. The Canary Islands aren't their own country. They are part of Spain. No, they're independent. Canaries now is its own. It's off the, yeah, it's independent. Hamilton, can I help you? They're an actual <laughs> part of Spain. The Canary Islands are part of Spain. Are they part of Spain? Yes. Well, too bad anyway. Did yeah. anybody put Spain? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The, the non-island country of Spain? I wouldn't, Spain. I wouldn't have gotten it anyway. Next it's question. Not seven islands. So it's a, it, says it's a, it says it's an autonomous community of okay. Spain. Of Spain. Autonomous. Well, oh, it's it's Jamie's country, not acknowledging their autonomy. Location. Yeah. <laughs> and Jamie's in charge of these things. <laughs> Jamie's so a colonialist still. Yeah, it's, a, it's the Canaries because it's seven islands. It's called the Canaries. It's beautiful there, but don't go. Uh, number 10. <laughs> Don't go. Don't Settle go there. there. Yeah. Don't go there. That sucks. Uh, number yeah. 10. We, when we went to um, Buenos Aires, Argentina, we were watching the mothers of the Plaza de Mayo protesting okay. in, the town, in the town square. Buenos Aires. Oh, Wait, I missed nine. What was nine? Uh, you are right, Karen. Number nine is Zimbabwe. We had that. Alien. We won yeah, the ring that. award. Get it on your <laughs> ring, quick. <laughs> what, was, what was the answer to seven? Number seven Kobe. is Kobe, Kobe, Kobe Japan. Ah. Kobe. Okay, so you're putting the answers in here, right? So I know how oh, to spell yes. these places. Yeah. What are you doing, Hamilton? Well done. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Another trip to all the horrors. Thanks, Jamie. <laughs> I know. Sorry. It's an it's exercise just a, in being don't, don't, grateful for where we are at the moment, wherever don't, we are. Don't, don't ever. The, Please yeah, don't ever plan to visit Aruba where I have a timeshare because I don't want it destroyed. So don't go there. <laughs> oh, I'll have a happy category next time. Never been to Aruba or Bonaire, but I've been to Curacao. It's nice. Jamie, can too. you go to Mar a Lago? When he when he's there. Yeah. Oh when my gosh. Can we just get a hurricane? Who's in charge of the hurricanes? Deborah, are you in a haunted house? Yeah. <laughs> she's in the she's in that mansion, the one that Jane and I went to go see the movie of. What was it? The haunted mansion? Yeah. yeah that, was was the walls that was fun. That was good. That was fun. Mm -hmm. okay, Hurricane so. Susan, you just get a sharpie out. <laughs> but it won't do any devastation, so you know it doesn't count. Okay, so it was either Ben or it was Rob. One of you two left me this message that you want me to ask you how to fix it. Yeah. So, so uh, before we hang up, I'll show you. No, you got to tell me now. No, because every week you do this, you just copy it wrong. You, you notice on the right side, all of them are in yellow because you didn't copy it right. Well, <laughs> fine. And Rob is very upset. Well, how do I fix it? I, I'll show you later. I don't have to bore everybody. I, I thought it, they would be entertained by me. No, I don't <laughs> like you implying spreadsheets are boring. <laughs> yeah. That's like a personal problem, Rob. No, no. Rob telling Susan how to do something in a spreadsheet is boring. It's, like not, yeah. it's not the problem isn't that Rob. It's just that all of you guys want to help. And it's like 12 voices trying to tell me how to help, I'm how to do everybody. the function. And it's, it's like, I have no idea what you're all saying. If Rob, I promise you, if Rob tells me by himself, just his voice. I can do it. Do it, Rob. All right. Anyway, the scores are. The scores are. <laughs> oh, I thought Did Rob worked with you during the break. Ah, oh, whatever. Trump thinks putting Hamas on bagels is good taste. Is in good taste. We have, I believe, seven. That's correct. Ooh. Wow. Coming back. We support Israel. Five. I like how you have it to the yes to the right in the proper space well it it, <laughs> it i copied and pasted it and it Very did good. <laughs> appropriate it's not like i did anything okay <laughs> scalise please pack your valise five. <laughs> how many five well there you go and beware the windmills they kill whales four and four. let's clean the chicken shit house <laughs> Seven. Wow. No. Gail, Bill, Janine, and Peggy. Wow. Okay. So, all right. Let's do our photo. Photograph. Everybody look nice. Pleasant. Nice smiles. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. One, two, and three. Cheese. Cheese rolling. Cheese rolling. Cheese rolling. Cheese rolling. <laughs> Cheese rolling. I like to say chicken shit. Okay, got it. I got it. <laughs> I, want Scalise, I want Scalise to show us his scar. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Can we ask? <laughs> oh, you don't believe he actually happened, huh? Trying to get sympathy. Oh, he, uh, Invite him to oh, trivia some he, night. He was definitely shot. There's no doubt about that. Hmm. But he got sympathy from it. I bet there's a oh, lot of people. Yeah, but that was a few years ago. Oh, we should be we should be over that. Ah, uh, <laughs> he's right, walking five, around right now. Fifty cent shot break? nine five times. Break? What's a big deal? <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. <laughs> I'm just slightly giggling. Okay, five minutes.
wow, we suddenly got really quiet. Is anybody still here? Gail is. <laughs> I had John close up the chickens, so I don't need to go. But I should have been wearing a mask while I was cleaning the chickens. Indeed. And so I think when I finish up tomorrow, I'm going to wear a dust mask. This is really getting to me. <clears throat> oh, um. Is anyone interested in hearing about this dating game that I mentioned that involves nudity that's on regular television? It involves nudity and it's on regular television, really? So it's apparently it's happening in the U.S. on Max, U.S. produced show. What I have seen are is the original, which is in the uh, in London. And I thought, OK, my friend wanted me to look at it. Very outrageous. But now I'm fascinated because they get people every week on national television who are willing to stand there in a box and the curtain raises and shows them from the waist down. Entirely nude. Entirely nude. All shapes, sizes, forms. And then you they eliminate one person. Then you go up to the shoulders. Everybody, they eliminate another person. Then you get to see their faces. They do another elimination. Then you hear their voices, another elimination. Then when it's down to two people, the person who's doing the choosing goes off stage, removes his or her clothes, and walks out entirely naked on television. And then they pick someone to go on a date with. And then they show a clothed date. I am fascinated with this. It's because it's it's not... If it's in the U the U.S. version, I bet is a bunch of, you know, medically enhanced, surgically altered people. But these are just all kinds of folks, and I think I'm. This is so from good. the U. This is from the U.K., right? Yes, yes. There's a U.S. American okay. version that I've not seen, and then the people are not mean to them. They compliment what they like, or they say, "Well, you know, this person is too slender for me," and. You know, I wish them well. Everyone's very polite. They walk off saying, okay, thank you so much. Have a good day. And they're naked on television. It's it's amazing to me. Okay. Well, I do know that um, I was surprised watching New Zealand movies for the amount of nudity and stuff. There just wasn't the prudishness. Yes. So what's the name of this thing? This is, a little, this is a little bit more than that. It's called Naked Attraction. And the thing I like about it is that you see all different kinds of body types and they're not all altered and, you know, makeup and all. it's just, and, and I can't believe the nerve to be on national TV and they're so sweet and nice to one another and cheeky and humor, but not, not vulgar, not a little naughty, but so, and so polite with one another. The U.S. American version, I bet is rude, insulting and very fake where is this from um it's on Britain. channel four in in uk called naked attraction so i can probably find it on, on youtube look at cats here you can see one free hi you can see one free on youtube if you do naked attraction on youtube there's one episode you could watch for free and you'll get the idea okay so mm. so cat there is a tie for the team that you will be on so I need to, well, let me see. Let me look at these real quick to make sure nobody's leaving. Um, is anybody I leaving from one or two? I Friday all day today, so nobody <laughs> may want me. <laughs> no, that's okay. The, you're going on the team with the lowest score, so don't worry. They're, they're <laughs> you have the right attitude. I wish it was Friday. <laughs> hey, you guys, is, is anybody on team one or team two leaving? 
I might be. I might not be able to stay. I, here. Okay, so I'm going to put her on one. Carolyn, general, yeah. Because Carolyn right usually leads, right? Okay, so you're on Scalise. Please pack your valise. <laughs> and you're Did tied I miss for the a most. category on Festivus. Yeah. Well, it wasn't Festivus. It was not Festivus. It was the. It was festivals. But they weren't festivus. Somebody oh, can share okay. share it with you. I'm, I'm sure you'll find. Yeah. It was the I'll, lowest I'll watch score. The video when you post it, but I'm like, I would have killed for festivus. <laughs> no, we've had festivus, right? Haven't we, you guys? Not that we do anybody remember, but <laughs> okay. So we're just coming back from problem. break. We had you a very. Know, you big... realize, Susan, that uh -huh. that you could have just started every year recycling the previous year's questions. I've done that many times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when i play on saturdays when i make up saturday games and i do it oh thank you there karen and what i do is i just put them up group that i know that nobody has a memory yeah that's that's me or somebody you know what we do is remember that we've had that question before <laughs> we just don't know it can't remember the answer oh my gosh okay all right so announcements and then we go back to we go to the room round three so i've got a few things let me see here i was listening to the latest uh european skeptic podcast and all of a sudden they're talking about qed and they were interviewing people and all of a sudden they said oh look it's avi steiner and i'm like oh my god it was avi so they interviewed avi and i thought that was quite fun and the episode is not out where i can share it on facebook so i didn't share it on facebook but that uh, that'd be fun we'll check that out brian kirby said to make sure you guys watch 502 conversations can somebody please put the link in and that is uh he just did a really excellent interview with uh, uh ben radford about halloween stuff it was really interesting um Richard Saunders is on his way to America. He's flying today. He is going to be experiencing two Friday the 13th. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so he's at 13. So he's going to be at PsyCon. So he's on his oh, way out God. here. Is that is that like good luck? Because like it's a negative times a negative and a positive? He says in Australia, it's a, a National Skeptics Day. Yeah. I thought that was... I'll send you the link and then if you can post it, because I don't know how. Oh, you just put it in chat. I, 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 I don't know how. Okay, just put it wherever to me, and I'll take care of it. Thank mm -hmm. you, appreciate it. So, um, one of the things that I, um, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a hangout with Kenny Biddle from five to seven California time. So, if you guys want to come and hang out and chat, it's on Skeptical Help Bar. It's you can find it on Facebook. You can find it on YouTube. It's just him and I are going to be chatting about a lot of different things, but uh, the article I just wrote about ghost hunting and how it's the season to ghost hunt. And I talk a lot about uh, what happened in Oregon and Seattle and how much fun it was. And I think that ghost hunts are a great idea, except that, you know, some of them get a little weird. Thank you, Wendy. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of them get a little weird, but you know, what are you going to do? And then um, so we'll be talking about that. The other thing I was going to say for anybody who's planning on going to PsyCon, we'll be doing some more tips. Some of the things I wanted to mention is to make sure you bring chapstick, eye drops, and I and I was talking to Brian Dunning today, and he I said, "What day do you get in?" He says Wednesday, which means I'll probably be able to have gotten through the line at registration at the hotel desk by Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I was so, going to suggest to him to bring the T-shirts. If you know for the mm. for the flash mob, he may as well bring them to to Las Vegas yeah. rather than ship them to each individual purchaser. Well, mine's on the way. Sterling got his today. Oh, okay, mm. maybe mine will come. Also, what we, and Brian and I were talking. I remember they had these kiosk machines last time, and uh, and people were actually using the kiosk machines. So, what I did is I downloaded the app for Caesars. Oh, here That's what you were trying to talk about. Yeah, so I went to, I downloaded the app for Caesars and I used the confirmation I have on my hotel room and it pulled it up. So I'm hoping I will be able to use the app at the kiosk and it'll just 
give you keys and then I could be on my way instead of waiting that long line. So if you're psychon oh. attendees, that might be a good idea to speed things up. Kyle, you got anything? Yeah, yeah. This week on Data Skeptic, I interviewed somebody who's investigating deception in large language models. And I don't just mean that things like ChatGPT will give you bad information or hallucinate, but will they actively try and convince you of the wrong information is a question. Um, and he says it implies that uh, essentially to spoil the punchline, it does have some mm-hmm. of those emergent behaviors. Large language models will adopt deceptive behaviors. Ooh. Yeah, interesting stuff. That's that this week on Data Skeptic. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay. I have a, I have a, it's not an announcement, just information that I think might be of interest to this group, mm-hmm. especially Kyle. I mean, the, uh, do you know about this study that looked to see whether coin tosses were equally random 50-50? So there was this uh, theory by a Stanford mathematician statistician that said you was a 51% chance. That there's the same set side bias for coins that if you toss it with the head up, it'll fall with the head up. And, mm. you toss it with the head up. and so they tested it with 357,000 coin tosses. And Who they tossed kept, the coin? They had thought <laughs> that the paper has 60, 50 people, 48 of whom divided the tossing between them. And they some people did 20,000 tosses, and some people were slackers and did only 700 tosses. But they added them all up, and you get uh, the average is ninety five percent confidence limits between fifty point six and fifty. Oh, 5. interesting. So if you are ever so which coin? So coin different coins. Yeah, they tried different coins. Could... Different coins, different. It varied between tosses. Some people didn't show bias, but on overall there was a fifty one percent bias. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. So if you are ever guessing the coin toss, try and get a look at the top of the coin and then guess that you have a slightly better chance of being right then. Mm-hmm. That's going to screw up the Super Bowl. I see Kyle <laughs> immediately. His mind is going, hmm. I'm heading to Vegas. <laughs> I, 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 I can send you the link to the paper. I've always thought if there was more raised surface on one side than another, that that surface would come down no it's just the, the way more often it, it dep- doesn't depend on the race or it depends on which it's one the way, the, per- the way it bubbles yeah okay cat's got so, a hand up what is it you wanted to tell us cat something amazing right oh totally amazing um adrian says hi to everybody um and she had an announcement she's just recovering from a migraine so that's why she's not here um, she would like everybody to know that on the skeptic zone this week, oh, good for um, Stanford marshmallow test will be discussed with Faith and Kelly Burke. Mm. Oh, Faith nice. and Kelly, cool. <clears throat> and one of these days, um, Adrian and I are going to have another segment also on the zone. Don't know if it'll be this week, but it's already in the can, so it'll be coming up soon. Oh, that I'm looking forward to it. I liked your picture that you had for the zone. <laughs> Thanks, Richard, very clever. For me. Your eyes looked a little bright. I thought I expected Normally they possession. are. It's just super dark in here. <laughs> it was very clever. Um, I have, um, besides being on the Skeptical Help Bar tomorrow, I hope I will see you all there. It's just like fun, chatty stuff. Um, I have done a bunch of videos for Psychics Explained. And uh, in the last few days, I've just gone on a roll. And one happened today because a woman, uh, a, a, a news station in New York decided that they would put out a video interviewing a psychic who said she solved, she helped to solve a crime. And I just about lost it. And I sent it to Kenny and Kenny called up the police, found out which police place to talk to, called him up and they're like, uh-uh. Hey, love. Don't worry, love. You're not... But it's, it's just drove me crazy. So I made a video on it. I've got like four videos out in the last week. I've just gotten in a groove lately, but then I'll go. So through you're saying the psychic just lied. Huh? She's, it was wordplay. She said that she helped out. She did call them and tell them a tip, but the <laughs> police say she did not give us anything mm-hmm. worthwhile, but we did talk to her. And then she says, oh, well, the police use 
psychics all the time, which is bullshit. Uh. And then she says, um, oh, I can't talk about it because I don't want to harm the, it's like, no. Anyway, you can watch the video. It's just really frustrating me. I And then I was reading the comments and, and I just, it just, I had to go do a jigsaw puzzle for half an uh. hour because I could not <laughs> function. I was like, I'm so upset at these people who are just commenting. And then even the skeptics, they were pissing me off because they were reading the headline and just glancing through the video and they were making erroneous comments about it when it was obvious, you know, you read, if you watch the video, it, it you can see that she's really not saying anything. And they just kind of said, well, the police, she says the police say, and, right. and then uh, the commenters were saying the police shouldn't be using her. And it's like, well, they don't, they're not. Yeah. They're not. And so give the police a break. You know, they didn't consult her. She went to them. Oh but the news host, this morning news host, made it sound like the police went to yeah. her. Yeah. It was just the way they, they worded it. So the so the fault is the TV station. And I'm so pissed off at this TV station. So Kenny will come out with an article with it probably in a couple of weeks or something. But it was... Like I said, I had to do a jigsaw puzzle. I, mm. I just <laughs> so pissed off. I had to get away from everything. Okay. Is that it? I got, to, I got something. Oh, you got something, Rob? Yeah. So I, I discussed with you, and um, I want to go see the inside of the sphere. There's a movie, and I'm going to put the uh, link to it. I am going to step out on Dawkins' presentation because <gasps> it's literally the only time it's showing that I can go see it. So if anyone else wants to do this, I want to buy the ticket. Bef- probably I'll give it till next week. So let me know. You know, at the latest, if you want to come with me, but also if you want to go at a different time, there there is the information on it. The, the tickets are from eighty nine dollars up to two hundred plus, but I'm told there's not a bad seat in the house. Eighty nine is just fine. Um, yeah, and and basically, it's not going to see a concert like the YouTube one, you too. But it's like you're going to see the most amazing immersive experience on the on the most amazing screen in the world right now. So that's the deal. And- you might want to go check them out on Yelp as well, because yeah. I don't know if they've gotten the thing straightened out, but I was looking at it the other day and they're saying that the the people that are in charge of, like, I guess you'd call them ushers and stuff, had no idea what they were doing. Yeah, I, I did were, see that. You got to leave yeah. a lot of time for, for sure. And the other thing people yeah. need to know is if you're going to drive there, which is probably not necessary because we're fairly close, but... If you do drive there, parking is very expensive. Hey, I'm not going to have yeah, a car. I, I just that. need an Uber, so not a problem. Yeah, like that's over $100 to park there. That's mm. like, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. And then and then your ticket, so. And the fees. It's Ticketmaster. I'm not oh, paying a $100 to park anything. It's not a plane. Vegas has also got <laughs> yeah. uh, that Formula One. They're prepping for Formula One. So the Las Vegas Grand Prix. Prix. Yeah, so it's going right. to be a nice it's, Racing it's, on the strip. The strip is so, all so, a mess. So, by right the now. way, the, the show is dark on Wednesday, um, which is the day I'm getting in, and unfortunately, I have nothing planned, so I can't go that day because it's not showing. But if you guys are in earlier than that, there there are shows on the Tuesday, like all day. And there are shows on Thursday if you're not going to a workshop. We're, we've already got tickets for that. Right, me too. I'm going to both workshops, so it's literally I have to step out of something, and and they're on Sunday too, but. Um, <laughs> I'm going to a different show with Wendy on It'll Sunday. be fun. You'll have more fun with Wendy. Um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I want to go to these things and I want to hang out with you guys. I really, well, I mean, I, I could not turn down because I thought, I always thought just like Elvis that Michael Jackson was dead, but there's a Michael Jackson show and Wendy talked me into buying tickets to see Michael Jackson. I forced, I'm forcing him against his will. Oh, you guys <laughs> will have a blast. You'll have a really good time. All right. So we're back and Kyle, Kyle, Carl's up. <laughs> yeah. that joke never gets old until it gets old like 10 <laughs> seconds ago okay it's not even a joke i seriously cannot seem to separate these two and it's not going to make it better at psycon we believe you susan i'm telling you i got a thing in my brain sorry carl i keep interrupting so, whoever it is who's next i don't know what is wrong with me the, the name of the round is born in the loo that is people Born in St. Louis, Missouri, or the Greater St. Louis Metropolitan Area. <laughs> if you don't know, the Lou is a nickname for St. Louis. I thought you. And it's, say it's a shame Vincent isn't here to hear my dad joke. But if I wrote an article on the subject, I could call it my "Born in the Lou" essay. <laughs> right. I don't get well, it. <laughs> right. A couple times. 
<laughs> All right. Number one. Born in St. Louis on November 30, 1927, he starred in an ABC parody of daytime soap operas, as well as that show's spinoff show that focused on the conflicts and relationships within a governor's household. Number two. Born in St. Louis on May 27, 1911, he was a connoisseur of fine art and the author of a number of books on the subject. And he also offered several gourmet cookbooks. However, he is best known for his acting roles in horror films. He is called the King of Horror. Before Charlton Heston was the Omega Man, he was the last man on Earth. Number three. Born in St. Louis on October 24, 1947, he has starred in films such as The Big Chill, Silverado, Grand Canyon, The Birdcage, and Fierce Creatures. He won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor for a film performance that also received the prestigious honor of inclusion in my trivia round, Great Movie Put-Downs and Slams, Volume 1. All right. And believe it or not, here comes a long one. Born in St. Louis on April 30, 1931, he became Missouri's first African-American U.S. congressman in 1968. He played an integral role in the 1970 founding of the Congressional Black Caucus and authored several books about Congress, civil rights, and his own life. On October 7, 2013, the former Bernard F. Dickman Bridge, commonly known as the Poplar Street Bridge, which takes Interstate 64 and 55 across the Mississippi River, was renamed in his honor. If you still don't know who he is, in the movie Die Hard, when Hans Gruber first meets John McClane in person, this is what he claims his name is. Number five. Born in St. Louis on 26 September 19, 1888, his grandfather founded Washington University, which we learned on November 24, 2022, Social Trivia with Susan, is one of the 10, lar 10 universities with largest endowments in the U.S. He is best known as a poet and critic, and his The Wasteland is one of the most influential works of the 20th century. Other noted compositions include Portrait of a Lady, The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock, The Hollow Men, Ash Wednesday, and Four Quartets. He received the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1948 and the American Medal of Freedom in 1965. Number six. Born in St. Louis on October 18, 1926, he is hailed as the father of rock and roll. While still a high school student, he was convicted of armed robbery and was sent to a reformatory where he was held from 1944 to 47. After his release, he absolutely did not steal his most famous song from Marty McFly. Number seven. Born in Alton, Illinois, a suburb of the greater St. Louis metropolitan area on May 26, 1926, he was an American jazz musician, trumpeter, band leader, and composer. He is among the most in innovative, influential, and acclaimed fi figures in the history of jazz and 20th century music. Based on professional rankings of his albums and songs, the aggregate website acclaimed music lists him as the 16th most acclaimed recording artist in history. Number eight. Born in St. Louis on April 4, 1928, she was an American memoirist, poet, and civil rights activist. Reviewer L.C.B. Washington called her the Black Woman's Poet Laureate. The title of her best known work can be paraphrased, I am learned in the reason for the incarcerated modern dinosaur serenades. Okay. I am learned in the reason the incarcerated modern dinosaur serenades. Sorry. Number nine. Born in East St. Louis, Illinois, on March 3rd, 1962, she is a retired American track and field athlete and is ranked among the all-time greatest athletes in the heptathlon as well as the long jump. She won three gold, one silver, and two bronze Olympic medals in those two events at four different Olympic Games. Sports Illustrated for Women's Magazine voted her the greatest female athlete of all time. And lastly, number 10. Another mouthful. 
Born in St. Louis on May 12, 1925, he played 18 of his 19 seasons for the New York Yankees. He was an 18-time All-Star, won 10 World Series championships as a player, more than any other player in MLB history. He is one of only six American six p- players to win the American League Most Valuable Player Award three times. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest catchers in the history of baseball and was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1972. On November 24, 2015, he was posthumously awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Barack Obama. He is known for his many comical turn of phrase barryisms, such as when you get to a fork of the road, take it. And there is good evidence to support that he did actually say, I really didn't say everything I said. <laughs> and now, uh, where is, there's breakout rooms. Go forth and discuss. Okay, let me put, oh, there, Alan's here. Yes. Okay. He up during the break. There we good. Okay, Kat's going to go to one. Janine, how did you get kicked out of your room? They kick you out? Janine. Oh, you're on five. Oh, she knows. Okay, Alan. Hey, we're putting you in two. We were just talking about Avi. He was on one of the podcasts I was listening to. Actor's name. Hey, 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 I'm here. (laughs) It's all like Kyle. I know 10. Two was Vincent Price. Yep, Vincent Price. Ooh. I don't know if you know the answer to one, Susan, but. Uh, No. I guess Ben Vereen. I don't. I'm somewhat. Oh, this was um, this was that show. Um, did you remember the show? What for three? No one. You still talking one? Yeah, it was. And then it was so what? And then a spinoff of soap. The spinoff, the parody of daytime soap operas, was called Soap. And then there was a show that was spun off of that where he played the lieutenant governor. This is not what I thought it was. Okay, never mind. Number two, you said it's... Um, Vincent Price. Vincent Price, wow. All right, who was in The Big Chill and The Birdcage? The Birdcage was Robin Williams. Really? Is he from St. Louis? I don't think he's from St. Louis, is he? Because there were also oh, other people in The Birdcage. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but I don't think Robin Williams was in the big chill, was he? That what I can't that speak Martin to. Martin Lange or some guy named Martin. Martin. He was a short guy. Um, Martin. Do you mean Martin Short? Martin Short? Could it be him? The, like comedian? Mark, do I you bet. know who was in the birdcage? And also in, huh? Ryan, Robin Williams. The Big Chill. Was Steve McQueen in The Big Chill? Could Robin Williams have been born in St. Louis? I don't think Robin Williams was born in St. Louis, but I could be wrong. He's just, he's mainly known for being in San Francisco, but you know, that's where he was. So if he was born there, they'd be claiming it more and Ben would know about it. That's true. Ben Mm. would know about it. Okay. Who else were we, we just mentioning? Uh, not terribly serious, but Steve McQueen rings a bell with the big chill. I don't even know if that's right, though. Yeah. You should read the whole question, man. <laughs> oh, you guys are something else. Let's come back to it, maybe. I'll be impressed if anyone gets four correct. Mm. First African American U.S. Congress. I remember my diehard better. I could come think of the name that he called himself. Ben, you're supposed to know all this. And Jordan, you're in school. You're supposed to know all this history. <laughs> no. Isn't there a class they take nowadays that says born in the loo? Hmm. I'm doing homeschooling right now, and it's a curriculum for like 
lots of areas so i don't know if they'd have a class specific you're, you're getting your you're getting your schooling right here on thursday nights <clears throat> now you're at least know 10, 10 so, born in the loop you know five because of the it was part of your social trivia with susan around all it says is that his grandfather founded washington university so i'm I, it's mentioned but it doesn't mean anything Hmm. So this one we just had this question to from uh who's the song? Oh, the Chuck Berry. Yeah, thank you. Oh it was Marvin Berry, who Thanks. was his brother who overheard it and um held there. up. I, I couldn't remember. I'm like, I know the I know the musician. Yeah, he'd be good, hey, man. Thank you, Kyle. Yeah. All right. All in Illinois. This has got to be Louie, right? Seven? Yeah. Did he just go by Louis? Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong. Oh, that famous yeah. person. I mean, what other he, trumpet player would be that ranked? I know? would agree with that. I mean, who knows? Maybe he was born in Alton, Illinois. I don't know. That's the problem. It's like, you know people that are famous, and I don't necessarily know where they were born. Well, yeah, Alton that... wasn't a clue for me. It's the other pieces. You should know yeah, this, then, because like you say, they, they're they talked out, and you see statues to them, and people brag about them and stuff. So you should know all of this. Who knows number eight? And uh, you do. Uh, this best uh, quote. What the hell does that mean? I am learned in the reason the incarcerated modern dinosaur serenades. What well, it says the title of her best known work can be paraphrased as this. I don't think we agree on what paraphrasing is. Yeah, tell me about it. I am learned in the reason the incarcerated modern dinosaur serenades. I, I think this whole night needs to be paraphrased because uh, these questions have been quite wordy tonight, Susan. Quite wordy, wordy and weird and difficult. Okay. So I don't think this is it, but all I got is Maya Angelou. Was, she was the poet laureate, right? But then why would you call her the black woman's poet laureate? That doesn't add up. Just yeah. one person called her the black woman's poet. That's yeah. all it takes, I guess. Maya Angelou. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure nine is Jack Joyner Kersey. All right. Oh, Jackie, Jackie Joyner Kersey. Oh, that's that's good. And then and ten, 10 is Yogi Berra. That's the only yeah. one I know. All right. So now we need to go back and look at the ones we missed. So well, I guess we'll go with Ben Breen for number one even though I'm not absolutely positive, but I think that's who it is. Um, so Carl kept, like, he was poking us saying, read the whole question. I'm like, it doesn't matter if I read the whole question if I don't remember your uh, question from the previous round. Well, it must have a clue in there somewhere. Well, yeah, it's, it's he won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor for a film performance. And it was the great movie Put Downs and Slams Volume 1. So if anybody remembers... Who wanted a uh, uh... big chill? Was born right after the war. Great movie, put down and slain by. Who was in the big chill? Dang it. Hmm. Oh, Alan in room two. Asked oh, the actor's name. Wasn't uh, what's his face in the big chill? Um. Uh. Why am I blanking on the actor's name? The guy who was in uh, who was in Tron. I don't know if I've ever seen the. Big oh, um, Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges was he born in St. Louis? You were asking Kyle and I. I know. I'm asking because I don't know. 
Was he in the bird cage? Maybe. He was in the big chill, wasn't he? I don't know. I think he was in the big Lebowski. Right, but I thought, yeah, that I know he was in the big Lebowski. Yeah, obviously. I don't remember. I don't know either of those. I mean, I know Robin Williams was in the bird cage. I mean, if anything, right. we should put Robin Williams just in case he's Yeah, that's the only thing we're sure of so far. Yeah. But yeah, I don't I don't think that one that is correct, but that's okay. Yeah. Alan keeps asking for help in room two, and I sent. He was I driving. Carl there, so why is he asking me for help, or why is it, it's asking the person who's? Oh, what does John McLean say? His rules name dispute. Is? I need to rewatch Die Hard, I guess, and I just watched it with you uh, not that long. Ago. Remember, pull it out of your brain. I'll put you on the spot right now. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Because yeah, that'd be the only way I'd remember this. Because so which one I, are we looking I, for? What? Which one are we trying on four? Number four. I'm trying to remember the line. Susan, from... do you have room flinging turned on on me or something? <laughs> well, Alan keeps asking for help, and he's in room two. Well, you okay? <laughs> I see. I will go. See I have no. Else. I have no need to help him. I don't know what I can help him with. I keep putting him. Well, I, I guess keep the taking Carl and putting Carl him in two. Know why he keeps, keeps going leaving. to room two? So. And I keep, and he keeps leaving, and I keep putting him back. <laughs> well, you gotta like send him a. Uh, uh, I guess you can't. Well, I thought I would fling him into the room and and Alan and say, "Oh, good, you're here. Now you can answer oh, well, my yeah, question." That's true. Oh gosh, I know that I'm gonna hear the name, and I'm gonna. Be mad at myself for not remembering it. Yeah, so well. when when he says it's his name, is he like making a joke or making light of it? Kinda. I'm Jesse fucking Jackson. Something like that. So do you know this Interstate sixty four fifty five across the Mississippi? Do you know this? It was commonly. Do you, does this make sense? It was renamed in his honor. Do you know of a bridge? Near Interstate 64 and 55. I mean, you live there. 55 is a big one. That's, yeah. Do you the know the name of the bridge? Commonly known as the Poplar. Oh, yeah. What did they name the bridge? What did Alan need? I just call it the Poplar. That's what, if you're from the area, you just call it that. They rename stuff all the time. And it's like you keep calling it what its original name was. Well, yeah. The Poplar was never its actual name. It was always just no. a nickname. No, Nobody's ever used the correct name for that bridge. No, I don't, I don't know what the heck the correct name is. Even, for that. even when it was the Bernard F. Dickman Bridge. <laughs> what did Alan need? Uh, nothing I could help him with. He He's on his phone and driving and he can't hear anyone and is trying to figure out how to get sound back. But it's like, well, I can't, even if I knew what to do to help him out, which I don't. Have one pull over. Is, he wouldn't hear me and we don't want him reading a long paragraph of instruction of what to do. <laughs> so we just kind of gave him. He needs, to, he needs to pull over and take care of his phone. Right. All right. Anyone have a clue on five? Carl has his hand up. <laughs> well, hey, it's it's Washington University and you had it in one of your rounds. I don't even, I, I vaguely remember this category. He is best. Known. Well, even, even that wouldn't necessarily help you get the answer. Okay. There's no guarantee his grandfather blank. had the same last name. Okay, Nobel Prize of Literature in 1948 is not John Steinbeck. Well, that is someone, a wonderful guess. If someone founded Washington University, would they have named it after themselves and their last name is Washington? How about Washington? <laughs> George Washington. No, no. What about that other guy, Irving Washington? Ivan Washington, something like that. A Nobel Prize for Literature. Isaiah Washington. He's an actor, right? 1948. Who would have won a Nobel Prize for Literature? 1948. Uh, um, he was born in 88, though. Or is that the grandfather was born in 88? I believe the subject is born in 88. Okay. And that his grandfather, yeah. This guy was born in 1888. Okay. Yeah, okay, thank you. Nobel Prize and the American Medal of Freedom. 
who was a prolific writer in after World War and during World War II era. These compositions, do you think they're like poetry or short stories? Oh, wasn't it? Uh... It's fine. Get out of here. They sound like musical titles, really. When was yeah. Hemingway born? He was. He's not that old, right? Wouldn't been Gershwin, right? That's Everybody. an interesting uh, choice. Those would be some pretty rare yeah. Gershwin titles. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know where Gershwin was born. Anyway. No, the timing, to my mind, seems right for potentially Gershwin. But he was dead by 48. You think right? so? Well, why, why would he get a literature prize, though? That's true. And he died like at 30 something years old or 40 something he had a he also wouldn't get a medal brother. of freedom yeah what and about his, like he, um i don't yeah i don't think heming i thought i had some recollection uh, recollection of hemingway being born in st louis but i don't know if he's huh. old enough well he would have been alive in 65 so right, but i don't know if he's old enough to have been born in 88 1888 what? What's the Medal of Freedom for? Is it soldiers or other type of people? No, I think it's something no. that's honored. Oh, the president. You give like the Medal of, of Honor to soldiers. The Medal of Freedom is given to regular people that who've done they, some great that's service. Like the highest to the nation. honor I think you give regular people. Yeah, and it could be okay. like it could be literature, or it could be music, it could yeah. be something. Yeah. So, well, to do both literature and music, it's not impossible, but it'd be rare that you would have excellence in these two areas. So I'm. I feel like it's the literature's the leader. So he's known as a poet. And... I mean, it's perfect. You know what it's perfect for? It is perfect for Steinbeck. Except isn't he from up by you? He's from Salinas. So yeah. no, it can't be Steinbeck. But I I mean, I know where he's born, but it's the right age. He got the Nobel Prize for Literature probably right around 1951 or 1952. So 48 would be close, yeah. but none of those names are, I would recognize the names of the book. So when you hear the phrase, a poor man Steinbeck, who do you think of? <laughs> Steinbeck? No. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah. You know my, what? I don't know anything about poets. That, uh, that's my, my guess was Ernest Hemingway, even though it's probably wrong. Well, I don't, I don't know if he fits that description anyway. He's Portrait of a lady. That sounds vaguely familiar. It does sound familiar. Is this the last one you're working on? I think so. I think so. The one All above. Right. And here's yeah, the two minute warning for everything else. Portrait of a lady. And the Hans Gruber. It does seem very familiar. That we're never going to get. Um, it's like the title of a jazz song, though, in my head. I can't get past that. 100 seconds left. Nah, how dare you? American Medal of Freedom. One of the problems with writing long questions is you're trying to give as much information to teams to help them, and yet there's <laughs> so much information, they often don't process all of it. I know exactly. you're telling us to reread it, but... Mm. I've never heard of the waste. Makes total land. sense to you. Mm. Portrait of a lady. I have no idea. <laughs> that really is bugging me. Portrait of Lady does sound very familiar. No, we only have 30 seconds. 30 seconds left. Sure. Yeah. Very seven way instead of a blank, even though it's probably wrong. Put it for one also. <laughs> <laughs> it was Put one it for everything. Uh, F. Scott writer. Fitzgerald. No. F. Scotts. Do you want to put that, or you know for sure they weren't born in there? Well, it's better than Hemingway. All right. Oh, okay.
Hey, we be back. And we brought Alan with us. Okay, Yay. shit, I lost again. Okay. No, no, you're, we can hear you, Alan. Yeah, but I, it's hearing hearing you guys was the issue. We can hear you. You don't Some, need to something with switching locations. We can hear you. But can he hear us? Oh, he just muted himself. I can't hear you guys. God okay, damn. we can hear you. We'll can you hear us saying we hear you, yeah, even you though you can't hear, hear me? Us? I want to hear you guys. We hear you. Okay, go ahead, Carl. He's, he's psychic. All right. You have to watch the video. Here we go. We're born in the loo. Number one, Robert Guillaume. And you do not have to spell it correctly. Oh, yeah. so that's the one I was thinking of. Oh. Nope, and Benson were two yeah. of my favorite shows as a kid. Benson, that was the name of it. Oh, and Benson. He also, as Ben knows, is a, is a voice in the Half Life video games. Janine has entered. All right, number two, Vincent Price. Yep. All right. Yeah. That's how I remember me. <laughs> Number three, Kevin Klein. Yeah. Yay, Jane. Who was in my uh, best movie insults? It was in my Kevin crew. Oh, oh. You so superior, aren't you? <laughs> well, you know where you'd be without us, the good old US of A? The smallest fucking province in the Russian Empire. That's what. <laughs> Number four. All right, uh, who, can you pause recording for just a moment because I'm going to play a quick video clip here. And we'll take William William Clay, William Clay Sr., Bill Clay, any of those combinations. John Lewis? No, <laughs> we'll not take John Lewis. That's all so I was, number five. Was that an intentional reference to the, the actual person? or is that I doubt it. But number five, T.S. Eliot. Uh, ah. Portrait of a Lady. That makes sense now. Number six, uh. Chuck Berry. Yay! Definitely did not steal his song from Marty McFly. The original I, I don't know how you can prove that, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking the burden Number of proof to prove that he didn't steal it. I want to hear this. Number seven, Ma oh, oh, there's, there's a typo. Oh, oh, Miles. Miles Davis. There's a typo. Oh, right. no. Miles Davis. Mm. It says mild Miles Davis. or mild. My, it, it Miles. There's a typo. It's supposed to be Miles. Is the typo is it supposed to say Louis Armstrong? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maya Angelou? Thank you for pronouncing her name correctly. Well, how would you Even say it? She's from the Lou. It's not Angelou. It's Angelo. Oh, okay. I, I looked it up. Ask Susan sure. how to pronounce it. Mm. Angelo. There you Number go. Nine? Maya. Maya. Jackie Joyner Kersey. Oh, good. Oh, oh, no. I, I talked us out of it. Close. Oh, and close. lastly, number 10, Yogi Berra. Oh, Definitely stop. not Yogi Bear, but Yogi Berra. <laughs> and there you go. Oh, I wrote the Wikipedia page for his uh, uh one of his distant relatives. His name is Tim Berra. Mm -hmm. He's a fish ec ecologist. Ec ecologist and expert on He's a lumberjack. Tim Berra. Tim Berra. Same thing. <laughs> Ick, 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 Who's the lumberjack? Ick, Ick. That was fun, Carl. Timbera. Okay, and now <laughs> I will. <laughs> that was better. Is Deborah's laugh? Chat. <laughs> very good. That was my very sincere laugh. I thought it was funny. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. Carolyn's <laughs> leaving us. She managed Bye, to make Carolyn. it three rounds. Bye, Bye, Carolyn. Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. She's building up strength and made it to three. All right, next week is four. <laughs> Our kidoki artichokes. Let's see what we got for scores. All right. Thank you for the fi file. Not Kyle. please, please pack your valise. Seven. And Whoa. we support Israel. Eight. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Beware the windmills. They kill whales. That's Hello? our team. I wasn't scoring. Sorry, I was in another window and couldn't unmute. Um, five. 
And Trump thinks putting hummus on bagels is in good taste. I believe it's six. That makes sense. I think so. Yes. Okay. Let's clean the chicken shit house. We had ten. Oh. Oh. Damn, you moved ahead. Jeez. Wow. Wow. (laughs) So the team that got ten. Which answer did you know? The, the the congressman's name or the the name from Die Hard? Okay. It was a congressman. Okay. <laughs> Bill, Bill remembered the congressman name. We never would have gotten it without him. Jeez. And I didn't certainly <laughs> remember that little bit from Die Hard. <laughs> All right. So I guess our next one is Rob Palmer, who's going to be talking to us about AI or bad sci-fi. It better not be time travel. Bad sci-fi. Yeah, what the heck is that? Well, it's clearly a robot of some sort. So my that category is-, is robots in fiction. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> Rob does robot. <laughs> We've never done robots. I looked it up. Okay. Number one. Four of the robot types appearing in this film franchise had the following numbers as part of their designations. One, nine, 850 and 3000. Rob, I'm going to mute everybody, so unmute yourself. Thank you. This film featured androids Ava and Kyoko. Number three, this Soong android introduced in the film Star Trek Nemesis was a precursor to the android called Data. Number four, a 1999 film featuring a robot named Andrew was based on a novel by Isaac Asimov, who played the robot. Asimov. Who played the robot? Who played the robot? Number five. Uh, Robin's here. Robin's here. Number five. Joseph Lockhart Locke Martin Jr. played the robot Gort in The Day the Earth Stood Still. Locke had a condition which contributed to him winning this part. Name his condition. Number six, a 2017 film was about an AGI, Kyle knows what that means, law enforcement robot captured and used by gangsters. Name the robot. Hey, Robin. I'll send you over the stuff. Artificial general intelligence for people who don't know. Number seven, the 2012 film Robot and Frank starred Frank Langella playing Frank, an aging ex-convict who lives alone and suffers from dementia. Frank's son purchases a robot companion for his father to allow him to continue to live at home, to live, live at home. Name this robot caregiver. Number eight. Live live at home. (laughs) Live live, live live. (laughs) Number eight is... This is a 2021 film starring Tom Hanks, which concerns a man who is a survivor on a nearly uninhabitable earth who builds and teaches a robot to take care of his dog when he dies. Name the film or the main character. Aww. Number nine. In the 2008 film Wild E, a robot of that name is joined on its adventure by another robot named Eve, with whom Wild E falls in love. Eve, the deuterogenist of this film, has the function of scanning planets for signs of plant life. What does the acronym Eve stand for? And yes, I had to look up that word. Uh, that's the person second in importance to the protagonist in a drama. Oh, I don't think I've really ever heard go. that word before. Hmm. Number 10. Final question is, 
The robot model B9 was a character on which three season American TV series? That's all she wrote. Any questions? Good luck and go to your rooms. Robin is going to go to Beware the Windmills. They kill whales. Have fun. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Susan, before I go, I just want to say one thing. I just heard from a friend that Glenn Church fell down and broke his hip the other day. Yeah. Oh, you already heard? Okay. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure he's out of the hospital and he's okay. Oh, yeah. He's at home driving Kathy nuts. Oh, okay. <laughs> he, had, he, they had, he had surgery and he had pins put in his... Uh, Who, who's yeah. this person? Oh, it's somebody from Monterey He's a skeptic. He's a local he's the, skeptic. Yeah. He's the... He's, he's also a, a county supervisor. County supervisor. Good friend of ours. Okay, so go on to three. And I better get over to my room. This grocery store one time I saw a beagle pug cross. Oh, so we decided we're just going to talk about dogs. You guys just no. be all done by the time I get here. We know you know all the answers. That's why. Yeah. Uh, he yeah. said he has some guesses. I have no idea. Counting on you. Does anybody have any guesses? I have a couple guesses. The only robot I know is C-3PO and Huey, Dewey, and Louie. And I don't think any of them are those. Huey, Dewey, Huey, Dewey and Louie are the ducks. They're not well, really they're also robots. Oh, are they? I didn't know that. Well, in, the Bruce, in that Bruce Stern movie where he goes off into space. Silent um, Running? Silent Running. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. It's know. a good movie. It is a good movie. Alan's finally coming back. Let me put Alan in his room. What room is he in, too? We didn't get Robin? No, <laughs> we should have. We we, we, should we have. lost. We lost. Um... No, she just went to the lowest score, which is oh, that's right. Where the windmills they kill whales, which is one point below you. All I'm right, really screw up quite enough. Um. Okay. Which oddly, the team that's losing is Carl's team. Wow. Uh, well, he won't. He'll probably do better on this one. Yeah. Um. Number one, I have no idea. Oh, let me look at these questions. Okay. It sounded familiar. 3,000. 1, 9, 8, 50, and 3,000. It wasn't HAL 3,000, right? From It wasn't exactly a robot. It was yeah. it HAL 9,000 that was in uh, 2000? Yeah, and that's a good guess. That was, that was what I was thinking, okay, too. Okay, put 2001. Oh, if you know Space else. Odyssey, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it had another movie, too. This featured Ava and Cook. I don't have a clue. Um, um okay, Star Trek Nemesis was a precursor to the Android name called Data. So probably I don't um, want to say beta, like alpha and beta or something. I don't know. Alpha does make more sense. I was gonna say antidote. <laughs> um alpha, beta For three. Kappa? Well, it's it's data, not no, de yeah, I know. It's not Delta. I read it fast. Yeah, okay, uh -huh. so it could be... Oh. I don't know. Uh, okay, clue. and this is not right. Number four, a 1999 film with, about, with a robot named Andrew was based on a novel by As I Isaac Asimov. So now I'd be able to answer the question better. But I don't know any actors' names. I mean, who plays? I, I think robot? it might Let's be Will. It might be Will Smith. Who was I Robot? Was that Will Smith? He was in that. So I would put Will Smith. I don't think he was the. Um, oh he wasn't gosh, the robot. People are having the worst trouble getting here. Here comes Janine again. I've put her in a room like five times. Number five. I think the guy had gigantosaurus disease or whatever. We don't. You. you have oh, the, giantism. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, good the, guess. the robot's huge. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought he just was really still. Yeah, but I think yeah. it's because yeah, it could be that too. <laughs> he had flat feet. AGI law enforcement robot captured and used by gangsters. 2017. Huh. I have no idea. No idea. Tom Hanks, all, recent uh, Tom Hanks. What's what's a what's a famous uh, lawman? Let's use that name. Like Marshall Wild Dillon or Wild Wild Earp. Wyatt Earp. Wyatt Earp. 
No, I was thinking more like Hoover or somebody like that. Oh, law man. enforcement, FBI guy. Okay, Jed, you're Hoover? Or who's the guy who was the... They did the other movie on. We got the mobs. His name wasn't, wasn't Hoover. It was a subordinate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Elliot Ness there. Yeah, Elliot, Elliot Ness. Ness. So we say Elliot Ness? Just Elliot. Or just Ness. No. I don't know. Elliot. What am Elliot. I Elliot sounds like a that's, good that's, word. That's, that's what E.T. says. Elliot. Yeah. So, Elliot. so, Kevin, you know your Tom Hanks films. Didn't you just do a category on Tom Hanks? What's what's one from 2021? Oh, I don't know. I just barely did something from I just looked up a few things. Um, uh, I mean, he it's a film that's recent. I just don't know the plot. So. No, I don't what know either. What has Tom Hanks been in recently during the pandemic? Yeah, what? I don't know. It's weird that he'd have to have a robot to take care of his dog when he dies because oh. do dogs don't live as long as people. Well, it must be he's at the end of his life or it's an uninhabitable earth that must be miserable and the dog's going to outlive him. It's a sweet, sounds like a sweet story. I'd probably ball my, ball my head off. Yeah. Um. Okay. Robert, I have a guess for 10. Robert, okay. what is it? Lost in space. Lost in space. Three seasons. That, that, that could be. Sounds right. That sounds right. Well, it's not Star Cops and that's not America. Austin's as <laughs> good as any. So what oh. does Eve stand for? Environmental. Vegetation expert. Vegetation. There you go. Expert I'm just guessing. Explorer or uh, um, I. I like environmental um, vegetation expert. I don't know about the E for the expert. Environmental vegetation. Explorer is good, though. Explorer? Explorer, okay. How are you doing? Horrible. Horrible. Um, we need to do on this team there, Rob. <laughs> that's the way it usually is. We needed Mono. Mono was good in the early rounds, and then the last round he has wasn't here. But we still did. Oh, okay he's, he's gone now, so it's just going to be three of us for the rest of the game. We're on the fourth round. And we have just the just the bonus. Like the bonus. you got like a whole lot longer, huh? All right. Uh, it's going to be uh, sites in Thailand. That's where it's going to be. And, Ma uh, Mono was really good at the, been uh, the round with the countries and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that was great. He got the Canary Islands. He got three or four of them that yeah. I had no clue on. Yeah, I just thought the Canaries were just like two or three. I didn't know it was that many. Yeah. Well, there's the Azores out there, too. Hey, you guys, we're still trying to finish this, and Rob is distracting us, and it's his own team. Wow, I just hit something by accident. Instead of breakout rooms, I hit, I hit record on this computer. I don't <laughs> <so> anyway. <laughs> Because it's they're both on the more right about it. Record it once. I guess I've never seen this. I don't well, know. Let me know. That's interesting. You might have paused it earlier. Since and... it didn't say anything, it didn't come up with any. I guess because it was already recording, so they don't care if there's more. Wow, than... that'd be really cool if I could do that for psychics and and the recording. And well, the... you, you you have to have have the you know privilege power. You can't just you got to oh. be a co-host. I guess. Okay, that's true. Yeah. Um, so what what do we have need answers for? Uh, two, three, seven, and eight. Wow. Three. <laughs> well, before da data, let's go with the letter C. Something Caspian. something that begins like Caspian. <laughs> I didn't remember that. That's true. Rule in the gang. Oh, no. No, uh, something that central data. You know, something like that. Uh, Cypher? Ooh, Cypher is a good one. Ooh, what's the other one? Cypress. Cypress, Cypress? is good, too. Cypress. Cypress? Yeah. I, and you know, those are good. Um, yeah. okay, uh, who could... Oh, we, we've got four, right? We've got that uh, Will Smith. Yeah, I think it's him. But I, I have no idea. Seven. 
Uh, Name the robot caregiver. Uh, the film is called Robot and Frank. So why would the robot caregiver have a name other than robot? That's the name of this thing. Yeah, but they oh. give it a name. Yeah. I'm gonna guess it's like a female name, like Aunt B or something like that. Or what was the name <laughs> of the robot in the Jetsons? Jonathan. Oh yeah. Na, na, na. His boy, all right. No, they don't mention it in the song, but it's it's like Rosie. Oh. Rosie. Oh, Rosie the robot. Yeah, Rosie's a good guess. I'd name a robot Rosie. If it's a girl <laughs> robot. I well, it's it taking does... care of them, so it's like a mother figure, I think. Okay, so what's the last one we need? Number eight? Well, we have two and eight. Two is looks like it's a, a Korean movie or a Japanese movie. Yeah. What film film features androids Ava and Kayoka? Uh, this film. Um I suppose it was one of those anime things. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. What's the one with the blue people, the blue faces? Did anybody see that one? Avatar? I didn't see it. Yeah. Do you th were the robots in that? No. No. At least not the first one. Alien things. You didn't see that movie, Kevin? No. Oh. Is Rob it good? Hasn't seen, Rob hasn't seen Die Hard. You haven't seen Avatar. I haven't I've seen it. I haven't seen either of those. I've seen, really? Avatar. I've seen Die Hard, but I, I didn't really remember that scene at all i saw avatar like three times i guess it's good well i went with my friend and she didn't have her glasses and, and she got a headache from the 3d so i had to go back with her so she could watch it in non-3d and then i took casey to see it when he was home from wherever it was he was living at the time well, she were <laughs> kind of tricked into it kind of, i didn't mind though it was a good movie I got a friend at work who's never seen Shawshank Redemption, and oh. we talk about it, other people, and we quote it and stuff, and he just like, I don't know what you're talking about. So you've never seen Shawshank. And I've only like, seen it once, and that's the only time I, you need to see I've, it. I time. think I've seen part of it. I don't. Oh, my I gosh. It's a powerful it. movie. It's a great movie. I've seen it. It's a terrific movie, times. but you, it's it's just, you see it once. It's like Saving Private Ryan. That's it. You see no, it. No, but you, yeah, but this, you see it no, once. I haven't when seen you, that either. I don't watch it. you watch it the second time, you look for things. Mm-hmm. If you look when he carves his name in the wall, that's the first thing I noticed. It's two different scenes. I want you guys to remember what Tom Hanks just came out with in 2021. You should know this. I don't know it though. I, just I don't know. Uh, Kevin, think about this. I don't know. We did it came out. I didn't even know he had him did a movie then. He's he's got one every year, probably one every 10 months. The guy's prolific. Well, that's so true. it might have been named after. Like a one word title, or how about so Adam? For, Did, was the one called for Adam? His dog, Adam, yeah, like Adam and Eve, like he's by himself. How are you Adam. doing? Ready for me to push the two minute notice? Yeah, go ahead, movie, go ahead. Was there a movie called Adam? I don't know, I don't think so. Probably, but not, not, um, I mean, this is one, this no. is only two years ago. I know, but I don't really Come know. On, we should be able to do this. Not that we saw no, it, but we would have seen no, it we shouldn't. advertised, or he would I don't have watch Colbert. television. I he don't watch Colbert. television. I, I don't watch, watch television. I watch YouTube. I watch soccer games. They don't advertise. Okay, put movies. down Forrest Gump then. No, it's not Forrest Gump. I know we'll that. Just, we'll we'll put Adam. Adam. And then what do we want to say for two? Some ch Japanese name or something? Pokigo. <laughs> Pokemon. Oh, oh, Papa. 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 Um. Adam. No, I did that for the other one. Oh, you did it twice. It's gonna be wrong. Oh, uh, all right. All right. You're, you're, that's, Watch that's it'll be Adam. Idea. Watch. Yeah, that'll be. Funny. I have no idea. I have no idea either. Oh. Kevin, we're gonna miss you. Not coming as I could. I, I can't. I, I just don't have the I money. Know. It's too late. You know what the yeah. word part is? Last mm. year at this time and this year at this time, I'm waiting for money from my mother and I just can't get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Last year I was gonna get a few thousand dollars. I was gonna go to Psychon. This year I'm supposed to get even more. 
but it's being delayed. Everything's being delayed, and I really got to fix my house. It's falling apart, so I got to fix that. If Ugh. there's any money left over, maybe next. That's year. important. That's yeah. important. Put it in the Psycon fund for another day. Yeah, I know. I'm sad, but you'll be here. It's trivia. We need people to hold on. on yeah. Because I can't. I yeah. I feel bad for making everybody leave. You well, guys at trivia should, the... just, should just at the cyclone should drop in a trivia for a minute. Well, we tried a lot. These have all been so hard. All these categories. Oh, I mm -hmm. wanted to tell everybody. Hey, Romero, uh, today on my genealogy call, my Zoom call, one of the women started talking about um, the Y chromosome and how it's going to be gone in, I think she said, like 50 million years or something. She said, oh, my God, that was just one of our trivia categories. We're just talking about it. She's like, what? I said, Seriously, don't worry about it. We'll all be dead. And, and besides, there's all these other animals. They they develop things like the the Z and W um and and it's 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 gonna be fine we'll just adapt don't worry about it. yes carl we're not gonna be around <laughs> yeah we yeah. won't be around i thought that was kind of a fake news story of some kind i saw the headline no, and i kind of I looked at it a little true. bit no, Mero came well, up with it last time so you know what i do need no. to remind you thank you carl who's reminded me i'm putting this bee in your bonnet and everybody needs to be paying attention. Don't make me assign you categories, but we do need categories for next week. Is there anybody who wants to jump in there right now before I start whinging your, your arms? Well, Is that had a, hand? I've had a bonus ready for a while, so I can do a bonus. You know I'm always ready if you can't find other people. Sitting. Okay. Well, I could do a round. Ooh. Hey, I can do one, but just schedule me late because I'm going to be late to the call. Okay, got it. I need one more. Alan has his hand up as Alan. well. Alan, what's a category? Alan. Thank you, Alan. You're, you're muted, Alan. Unmute so we can hear you say you were just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, you're going to do a category next week? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Excellent. Yeah, sure. I seem to recall liking Alan rooms. Not, they're, not, they're not bad. Alan, Alan, I was, that, uh, Alan I was saying that I was listening to I was listening yes. to the podcast, the ESP, and all of a sudden they were interviewing people that were at QED, and they said, "Oh, look, it's Avi, Avi Steiner. Hi, Avi!" And they started talking to him. I was like, "What?" So he's on the he's on the most recent ESP Part Three QED. Did you know that, Alan? I I, I have no idea what that is. Never mind. He's on that. a podcast from when he went to QED. And they interviewed him. He's one of the interviews. Just he, he, in. QED. he may have told he may have told me that 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 happened while he was there. So yeah. uh, so I'll put it up on Facebook. Whatever he, he said, QED, and you thought he was talking German or something. Here we go. No, Here we that's, go. No, okay. that's Latin. Right? And right. the just, week after just... this, I want to remind you that's Psycon Week, but there's still going to be trivia. Ben's going to run it. And I expect you guys to show up that are Yay not for ben. at Psycon. And and Jordan's going to help, right? Of course. Yes. Jordan maybe ran the whole Jordan. thing. Um, Susan, which yeah. part was it? Was it part two of QED? Three. three. No, it's the uh European Skeptic Podcast, part three. Part three, not part two. Yeah. Okay. I'll yeah. put the link. Because part two is out, but I couldn't find part three. But I it came up on my phone. So it's just not on Facebook. Um, okay. Ready for answers? Right. Yeah. 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 Okay, number one, the robot types. Um, so as I said, had the following numbers as part of their designations. It was a little tricky because if I put yeah. T in front of them all, it would have been a dead giveaway. These are from Terminator. Oh, yes. Oh. Uh, oh. T1 was for Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, and Terminator Salvation. Uh, the, the 9 oh, was actually called yeah. Rev 9, with that, which was the latest movie, uh, Dark Fate. The T850 was Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. That was Schwarzenegger. And T3000 was from Terminator Genesis. Whatever. There, there are only two Terminator oh, films. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> well, I guess there's only the first one and the last one because of the time travel changing everything. I no, don't know. No. Uh, the first, the first one and the second one. The rest of them suck. The uh, All right. So number number two uh, was uh, the two female sort of robots in Ex Machina. Oh. Are you putting these oh, in the yeah. chat? I put them all in the chat when I'm done. 
Number three, the Soong Android. Uh, many people guessed that it was Lore, but this was another version, which was the oh. precursor. In other words, before it was just the numbers, letter number combination B4 was the name. Ah, uh, the giveaway was Star Trek <clears throat> Nemesis. Yeah. Yes, you got that. Very good. Yep. Oh yeah. Why? All right. Why is that Most a giveaway? People most people most people i heard got the film wrong they were thinking of the wrong asimov um asimov novel, yeah. novel. and uh, this <laughs> one was bicentennial man and robin oh. williams oh. played the role oh. 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 oh crap yeah and, and even people who put will smith down he did not play the robot in i robot he no was, alan did <laughs> he was a cop of some sort um, um, well, we, i didn't see the movie either yeah <laughs> So yeah, so my he is a robot what, though. One of life. my pet pet peeves in movies is when the marketing department puts together a trailer that does not properly reflect the film, and they made the stupid mistake of taking the Robin Williams. Uh, are you had, thing off the table because you always leave all the mute yourself, Ben. No, uh, Robin Williams had some funny lines to the two-hour movie, maybe four or five, and they put together a trailer which only showed the funny lines. So people were going to see a funny Robin Williams film. And this was a serious mm. film about mortality. So people walked out <laughs> of the movie. Mm. Yeah, they got people expecting a comedy and it wasn't a comedy. And people who would have gone perhaps to see a more serious drama did not go see it. So it did very bad at the box mm. office. So it was, mm. if you didn't have that anticipation, it was a very good film, in my opinion. I so the person who played the uh, robot Gort in The Earth is Still suffered from gigantism. <laughs> we got it. It was seven got one. <laughs> I said flat feet, but they talked me out of it. Flat feet. Hmm. No, this is a this is a condition known as gigantism. He was somewhat over seven feet tall. They said they never got a final um height on him. The yeah. 2017 film with the AGI law enforcement robot was called Chappy. C H A P P I. All right. Anybody get that? Yes. Yeah, apparently. Still got it. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, the 2012 film Robot and Frank, where the human was Frank, the robot was named Robot. Hey, <laughs> I told you guys, Damn I it. told Tricky. you, Tricky. I told you, yeah. you did, didn't you? I said they named the film Robot and Frank. <laughs> did, they, right. did they listen to you? Yeah. No, 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 we did not. They've gotten used to not listening to me. Uh, you know, well, I always mess I it can, up. I can understand that, though. <laughs> All right, <laughs> number eight. Uh, and I had not seen this film, and I'm going to watch it now after I looked into it. Uh, this was called Finch. That was also the name. Oh, of the see, I knew I'd heard of it. I didn't yeah. know what it was about, but. Um, while Eve's companion, Eve, I saw, I didn't see everybody write this one down, so I don't know if anyone got it. Let me know what? if you did. Uh, some people got close, but not quite. It's extraterrestrial oh. vegetation evaluator. Oh, oh. God. Yeah, uh, uh, we, close. we got vegetation. We got, we got one no, word got right. Yeah. No, got I think we put expert or examiner. I didn't know. We put expert. Oh, so nobody expert. got that. Hmm. Oh All no, right. we got it. You got it. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good, Bill. And number ten. The, this should have been the easiest one. That was the robot from Lost in Space. Nice. Yeah. Kevin got it. Kevin got it. Good job, Kevin. Hey, team. Yeah. I th still think Will Smith is a robot. His wife pushes his buttons. <laughs> oh, did you know that they've been separated since like two? Yeah, well, even before said? even before the slap, they weren't together. Yeah. yeah, and and Chris Rock had asked her out because he figured they weren't together, so that may have contributed Ooh. to the slap. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I'm putting a link here. Susan mentioned that Avi has uh, attended uh, QED and is interviewed on an ESP podcast. Oh, there you podcast. are. So there's the, their link. It's not on that page yet, but that's the page upon which it will appear. Part three coming up. Oh, very right. good. Thank you, Karen. Did You're you welcome. see the Chris Rock special, though? He tore her up. He tore her up way, had a lot of things bad to say about her. No, I don't know anything about it. At the Chris Rock's comedy special. Oh, the last 15 minutes, he just does nothing but rip rip into him and her. Before now I'm going to watch that special. Yeah, okay, Susan, I put the okay, answer. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Rob. 
Did you say before or after the slap? Uh, before the slap, he asked. He had asked her out a while before, um, believing that they were separated or kind of getting the idea or hearing they were separated. Well, she said that out. they are now. They've been separated, but what yeah. was the? Did when he tore her up in a comedy special? Was that before or after? Oh no, after. he took Chris Rock tore her up and talked about Recently. how she manipulated Will, and he was saying a lot of bad things about her. Yeah. Before mm-hmm. or after, 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 after was the, the slap. comedy slap. special? After. Okay, after, after the slap, he did a comedy show and talked about how badly she was treating him leading up to it. Okay, got mm-hmm. it. But he wanted to ask her out. Thank you. That's that's news to me. Yeah, that sounds. Yeah, yeah. Funny. That was before the slap. That was way before the slap. Okay, good job. Good job. Mm-hmm. Let's get to the scores. Okay, now that I've got the answers in the little boxes, I'm happy. So, you guys supposedly have scores? Is that right? Is that what people tell Maybe. me? We're supposed to do scores or something about now? Not not much of a score, but yeah. Okay, so be, <laughs> beware the windmills. They kill wells. I gave you that. Robin. Yeah, Robin was no help. Robin's <laughs> robot. <laughs> Robin does not know her robot. But she's, but she's well vaccinated. Oh, I yes. am so vaccinated. <laughs> she glows. What is your score? And you got it? Yeah, uh, we got eight. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Oh, oh, robot nerds. Well, they went out of 10, but Carl and I talked each other out of correct answers tonight. Oh, which ones did you miss? Well, uh, we had exploratory instead of extraterrestrial because I didn't like extraterrestrial. I thought it was exploratory. And the, what the other one was? And then we had, we originally had Robin Williams, so we changed it. Not to Will Smith, did you? We, we, we went, no, we went to Alan Tudyk for my Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so Scalise, please pack your valise. <laughs> <laughs> we were off to a great start with three of the first four and ended up with three of the first ten. Oh, three. <laughs> wow. Robin, isn't it fun, Robin, to hear the names for the first time? Yes. Trump <laughs> thinks putting hummus on bagels is in good taste. Hummus. Hamas. No, Hamas. Hamas. <laughs> that was my team. What did we get? That was, I think we had two. Oh, no, yeah. I had two. Sorry, Rob. Yeah, I had two lucky too. guesses. <laughs> so we only yeah, had two. Yeah, really? that's right. Yeah. All right, we support Israel. Five. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Let's clean the chicken shit house. And Janine has been bouncing in and out all day. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be bouncing to four. <sighs> Still, you're in the lead. Oh, good. Wait, oh, where's, well done. where's the chicken man? Have him join. Oh, Rob, you gave now. me a good run for the money, but sorry. <sighs> Darn okay, it. are we ready for the bonus? Yeah, let me yeah. Give you get a ten, and everybody else gets a zero. We can still win this. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Um, Let's see. I have a feeling this one is going to be an easier one. Oh, thank we God! Never we know had, that. Uh, we had that terrible. So the, well, the Nobody's going to get a zero. I'm quite confident of that. Okay. Oh, um, you now you're tempting fate. No, no, you're not going to get a zero, but you might not get. Oh, yeah, a I might I do accept it on that purpose. challenge. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to remember that when you give your score. Okay. What I'm going to ask you to do is list the Ten Commandments, and what we're looking for uh, is the rules, not the wording, not the numbering. Who, there who's are ten things. There are different, different lists. I'm sorry. Listen, the center of the point. A school to me. A school to me. The exact wording and numbering is not important because there are two different versions in the Bible and interpretations from various religions. We're looking for the essential 10 things to do or not do. And I have the Catholic version, which is significantly different. And you can, and the numbering is very, very different, but you can break it down to 10 things. And those 10 things actually are a political issue now as the separation of church and state is being ch- challenged yet again with mm-hmm. states that want to put 10 commandments in government places or schools. Mm-hmm. So, and this, we're going to start with the version that is generally used as acceptable. But if you get those 10 things, you get it, even if you don't have the exact words. Mano rules, mano rules. 
No. <laughs> really? <laughs> That'd be good. I, like something. I said, I'm quite confident you know some of them. Okay. I'm very impressed if anybody gets 10. Lee's Lee asking a question. question. Protestant or Catholic Ten Commandments? The, the rule, the numbering and the wording are often different, but the essential rules are really the same. Uh, that's not true. Well, okay. well, we'll find oh, out, Lee. We'll find I out. have the Protestant okay. list okay. and the Catholic list. All right. And within the Protestants, there are different lists, but the essential rules okay. are the same. Okay. Would it be like from the movie, The Ten Commandments? Thank you. And the Catholic one really uses the same one twice. There are 15, 15 commandments, <laughs> 10, 10 commandments. There's also four versions of the Ten Commandments. You weren't paying attention when I did my Ten yeah, Commandments. He did. Gail, what is that thing behind you, and what does it have to do with the Ten Commandments? Because it got, it was too big, so it got done. It's the person with the, it was in, with the Satan behind it with the horns and stuff, oh. but it got cut off. I thought it was. I thought it was the day the Earth stood still. Or something. I thought it was I didn't know how to make it smaller so that it would fit. You just got to stand I was farther point away. That it looked like Gord also. <laughs> just no, put it farther Gord, away, yeah. Gil. <laughs> well, I didn't put it. I got it off. Oh, you had to put your Zoom yeah. screen way the over on the other side of the room. Just watch it's your the hands there, Gail. Attraction, the new day. Yeah. <laughs> It's the naked. It's the naked attraction. Yeah, <laughs> it's naked attraction. Robin, you have to watch Naked Attraction. Okay. Okay. Where do I, I watch that? Are you ready to go to the room? I'll give you a link. Yes, sure. Please. All right. Let's see. Incognito send me a, mode. A DM, girl. A d a um a d um. Hi, Susan. Hi, my new team. Hi. Okay. So okay. we got. Kill. I get it. I'm going to share the screen for the covenant. This. Covent. Okay, so we've Thank got you. worshiping false gods. Oh yeah, false gods. Lord's Fair. name in vain. Ooh, Mur yeah, yeah. God. Honor thy father and mother. Yeah, yeah. Remember covenant. the Sabbath. No adultery. The oh, Sabbath. you got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The Sabbath. Eight. And there's the coveting of goods and wives. And I thought we already have that. I think adultery is separate from coveting. Oh, you have it. Do not covenant thy neighbor's wife. I do, but we That's also adultery. have adultery. Uh... And you have neighbor's goods. So there's we're still missing. Okay, so we have to honor the Sabbath. False witness. Oh, do, oh, yeah, do, do not, not bear not false. Bear witness. fault with yeah. Yeah, that's good. Was thinking no lying bears. should be one, but I couldn't remember how they put it. No bears. No bears of no false bears. <laughs> Only drop bears. The Lord's name in vain. The Sabbath thing. That's a big one. I think there's like two about worshiping false gods. Are there two? Well, there's it's not nothing to do with pigs, right? Well, there's one about idols, and then there's thou shalt have no other gods before me. But which is the, the first same? the first one in in the uh, King James version is is not not having false not having another god. Yeah, thou shalt have no other gods before me. But but it's separate from the false gods. Oh uh, well, that. Thou shalt not uh, make any graven images. Oh, that's it. Oh, graven images. Oh, we're done, Gail. We we kicked ass on this. So, so the other gods depends on whether you believe that there is only one God or if God is yeah. only one of a large pantheon. And oh, what happened? Where'd you go? Who? What? My my list is. There we go. Okay. It it something something about this keyboard disappears typing sometimes. Okay. I'm just gonna put other gods instead of false because our ours was like thou shalt not have false gods. Are you Catholic? I used to be a Catholic. Now okay. I'm an American. Well, no, I mean I've raised Catholic. I was raised Lutheran, so. Uh... Yeah, I was Southern very, Baptist, very similar, but there Praise are the different... Lord, Southern Baptist. Yeah. <laughs> and that's funny how how uh the atheists got these things, you know. Hmm. Okay. okay, that's 10. 
Anything we missed? You guys did great. Well, you were on a roll there, Susan. No, I don't know about that. I typed a bunch in just waiting for her to send us. You know, having been raised in Catholic school. Do you have thou shalt not steal? I don't. What are we taking out instead? One of the covets. Which covet? Goods? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if we've got adultery, then wife. Oh. Can we just put thou shalt not covet? <laughs> No so you covenant. want goods instead of wife? Yeah, well, yeah, just one covet is fine. Or anything that is thy neighbor's. Honor thy, honor, honor they, father and mother. Come on, Peggy. I know. You don't type thy very often, so my fingers don't know how to do that. Thy father and mother. Thy is not a normal word. What a... Oh my god. Not anymore. God, everything is such a fucking mess with this. Let's just not get into that, please. It's depressing, I know. Okay, let's talk about kittens. No, <laughs> that's that's kittens. worse. <laughs> puppies? Puppies are good. Puppies are yeah. How's your puppy? Over I, I'm not I'm not a cat fan, so all of you people who have cats and all that, you know, I I tune out. But puppies, I, really, I admire oh. cats. I think cats are great. I don't want a cat again. I used to have a cat. I don't want to clean a cat box ever again. But I have my cats go outside. Cats are beautiful. Well, then there's that problem, though. You know, if they go outside, then then what? They're outside killing my my cat that I had for many years. She would go outside, kill something, bring it back in, and then poop in the box inside and not poop outside. It was very <laughs> irritating. <laughs> we don't have a box inside they have to go outside well then they have no choice i guess i was just stupid <laughs> yeah you don't give them a box nice clean healthy box what the box doing? they get to use gee like, well hell, i gotta go to the bathroom i gotta go home <laughs> well you know the the other thing is like he's gotta have something to do <laughs> he went into uh other people's yards and you know i think it's really not fair that your cat poops in the neighbor's yards i tell i trained him to do that <laughs> That's part right. of being my neighbor. Your I cats that's a great really. qualities. That's not one of them. <laughs> it's not one of them. It's keeping your cats out of the yard. Oh, I don't know if I have. I, they're all fifteen, so I don't know. Won't be Are they really time. all fifteen? I got them all at the same time. All oh, time. geez, two of them are going to be ugly, Susan. I know. I <laughs> yeah, I got them <laughs> in two thousand eight. Get a kitten, man. <laughs> I, I I don't know what to do. They just sleep all the time now. Oh, I don't know. I can't. I can't live without him. All my right. Big, well, good job, team. My biggest problem with cats is that I'm allergic, and whenever I get into a house with a cat, they okay. allergies are bitch. Okay, that was easy. Thank you, Gail. I promised you this was going to be easier one, and apparently it was. I'm going to give you two lists: the list that is the standard based on most Protestants. And then the list based on Catholics. And Which this is one, the correct one? Well, the, Jew, yeah. the Jewish one. The Mormons. This is the, the, the I put it in the chat. They this is the standard one. This is the one they usually want to put in public places. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall make no idols. You shall not take the name the name of the Lord your God in vain. You you keep the Sabbath day holy. Honor your mother and father. You shall not steal. You shall not bail force false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet. Now I'm going to put adultery in, and murder. Okay. I'm going to put in the Catholic version. And the Catholic version, interestingly, I can't see the difference between nine and ten. Okay, uh, they find a difference there somehow. But you'll notice that it it does read differently. It's a lot longer. Um, and it has a lot of um, commentary. Some of it is explanations for what those things are. And up until now, they're not that different. You shall not kill, you shall not commit culture, you shall not steal. 
false witness, but then nine and 10 both say, you shall not covet your neighbor's house, your neighbor's wife, or his manservant, or his ox, or anything that is your neighbor's. And there's a subtle difference in the explanation for why nine and 10, one is greed and one is coveting or something. But any version of these that got the essence of the 10 would give you a point. Yeah, in, in the Lutheran religion, nine is just, you should, thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house, and 10 is all the other stuff. Is there, is there a separate one in that version, you shall not cover your neighbor's wife, then? That's always been uh, the brighter they knew. In, in certain part of 10. religions, that, uh, denominations, that is broken out. There's a good Wikipedia article on it. Yeah, uh, so so we, we broke those two out, covet wife and covet goods. Here. Yeah, there's a very good Wikipedia article, and it also tells you the numbering yeah. in the different places. Yeah, even and when you say the case, how, okay, well, they break it up differently, different. and they number them differently. And that, I think, is all significant if it's going to end up being a public document. Because you, so even far, if you say, what about the Jewish version? You say, well, do you mean the Hebrew version or the Hellenistic Jews that use the Septuagint? <laughs> <laughs> I picked this topic because apparently someone did some research about all these people who are declaring that we should at least be able to put this in all the schools. Yeah. So he did a survey and he asked people what they were and he couldn't find anybody who could name them all. So that's <laughs> why we got to put them up in the schools. Got to yeah. teach those kids. <laughs> Learn them didn't up right. Come to trivia. If they knew them all, then <laughs> there's no reason to put them up in the thing, but you know. George well, Garland's advice. He, no, it wasn't even know them all. He couldn't find of of the people who were insisting they needed to be in the school. And one, I think, it was Alabama, one of those states where they had made that rule. So he went around and just asked the parents who were so anxious to have this happen, and he couldn't find hardly anybody who could do more than four or five. Oh man! Thank you, Gail, and thank you, Kevin, for the Carlin. Yep, oh, that's a great. Yes, bit. Kevin. Yeah, um, Carl, you did better than one, right? Oh, it did a lot better than one. I knew you would. <laughs> Carlin reduces it to two, and then he adds a third. The third one is keep thy religion to thyself. Yeah, that's a great bit. That's oh, it's unbelievably one. good. Or lack thereof. No, no. If you have none, then spread it. Here's the Ten Commandments as they first appear in the King James Version, uh, which is what was accepted generally uh up until 1950 in most uh protestant churches thou shalt have no other gods before me thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth wow the catholics are fucked yeah <laughs> you've ever been in a catholic church yeah Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Honor thy father and thy, and thy mother. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. And thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not cover, covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Why? Well, oh, I'm going to have to and, and, try to so ask. It's, it's I'm interesting that the, 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 the Protestant King James and the Catholic Dewey Rhymes translation both generally agree on the wording. They mostly just change on how they break it out paragraph-wise and where they put punctuation. Yeah. They, there you, are some significant, significant differences. For example, is it murder or kill? And they're very they're different. Murder. <laughs> murder. We Murder. have to kill sometimes. Murder. All right. So let's see how we everybody and, did. And they don't have uh at thy thy thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. That's, yeah, that's unless true. she's that's a not weighs the same as a duck. Okay. Trump thinks putting Hamas on bagels is in good taste. Well, we missed the adultery for some reason. None of us thought of that one. Uh, <laughs> and we and, and we and we and we broke up covet wife and covet goods. So I'm not sure if we get a point for either of those. They're, they're, everybody lists them together under coveting, unless you have the classic distinction between being greedy and wanting them and coveting them. So several religions break He didn't. So you get eight? I know. No, listen to what Carl said. Yeah. Nope. Coveting is one. 
It was not, too not in the movie. It wasn't. Not, not in the movie. The only way you yeah, could make that into two is to leave out another one that's important. To want to be one of the three. right. Well, so yeah, so we, we left out the so other. So say it, Gail. So shall it be. So say it, Gail. So shall it be. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Take it up okay, with Martin eight. Luther. Eight for your team. I'm giving you an eight. So it's right. written. So it shall be done. Scal Scali oh, you're Janina Thank again. You so Scalise, please pack your valise. Uh, ten. All righty, Rue. We, now? we support Israel. Ten. Ten, eight, ten, eight, ten, ten, ten. Mm. All right. Beware the windmills. They kill whales. Ten. And last but not mm. least, let's clean the chicken shit house. Ten. There you go. That's what it looks like. 36. Um, 9.6, Gail. That was that was. Zero. So we got doubles. I knew you were you knew well. I didn't know you were gonna do that well. That's good. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Four teams got kidding? zeros Andy and we got double shit. zeros. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, and most of us are most of us are atheists, and we almost all got ten. Because <laughs> I saw the always know the Bible yeah. better than that the post scripture. is for you, Robin. I posted the link earlier. The linky link link. Poor Jandine, you are just jumping back and forth. What the heck's going on? Our internet's down tonight. So what oh. was what was the bonus category? The Ten Commandments. Oh, not not, not, not the movie, not the movie. Oh not yeah, the, not the movie, but the Jandine yeah, should have known it too. You read that book? <laughs> oh, I grew up with those. Yeah, you had to memorize them. Well, let's let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's see. You if you're all on your own, let's see. I can't remember. Now <laughs> you don't have to know the words exactly, Janine. Just but what are the topics? Can you do them? Oh, stealing, coveting your neighbor. Um, mm -mm. those, those they wouldn't give us the points on that last one. Oh, they go wouldn't. ahead, go uh, ahead, um, Janine. Um, it just doesn't work as two. No other god before you, uh huh. Um. I don't remember any of the others. Oh, come on now. You know these. Steal, covet, no other gods. What else? Come on. You know, the one your parents are always reminded you about. My parents never reminded me. They, they, they didn't them. want you need to make false idols. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Thou shalt not. There's two or three good ones in the list you haven't gotten to yet, like actual good rules. <laughs> I know, like, yeah. Come on, Janine. Well, that's what your parents would do to you, Janine. You were to do this for them always. Oh, yeah. yeah I honor your parents. Yeah. yeah. But they will kill you. Yeah. <laughs> what if you're the Menendez I don't think kids? They scared right. you me that badly. Parents, you Par you know, parents, parents lock the kids in the closet and beat them all the time. You still got to honor them. So yeah. the Menendez boys who killed their parents. Stabby, stabby. They, yeah, that, that was a unique way of honor. Come on, Janine, the big I, one, the big one. Yeah, big what's one? one? Yeah, the biggest one. Everybody remembers this one. Don't go shopping if you've. Karen, are you doing something sexual? Oh, don't, don't go swimming. <laughs> don't go swimming a half an hour after you've eaten. <laughs> yeah, don't go swimming <laughs> half an hour. <laughs> Murder, <laughs> Janine. Murder. Don't jerk somebody don't off. Don't, don't kill somebody. Don't murder. Okay, to clarify, you should go. Ree, ree, ree. Oh, I was trying to <laughs> yeah. We need the noise. Yeah, you gotta have the noise in there. So yeah, you missed them. So there, um here we are. Honor your father and mother. Remember the Sabbath. Lottie, oh, yeah, lottie, lottie, lottie. Don't Sabbath. kill people unless, of course. You don't like them in there, and you know, no, thou no shalt not try no, hard. Not you can do that. Them. You can, I think, you get can murder slaves or something. No. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, that, well, as, that as, as long later. as they don't you, die within two days, or your daughter, of course, yeah. you can get your daughter, and you can pretty much rape anybody you want, of yeah, course. especially of all the towns around you that you take their women. Yes, so. yeah, of course, that's fine. Well, that's fine. Well, I can't hear you. But the hell with your grandparents. You have to pay your father and marry her. What, Lee, Lee, what are you saying? I was saying my favorite is when Moses comes down and says, thou shalt not kill. And then he sees the golden idol and they kill 3,000 people. <laughs> <laughs> when he was that doing was that murder. in the name well, of God. Was, yeah, and, and, and they, they broke the, the idol one. Well, the at, at the bottom, I'm there was a footnote that says, "Do as I do, not, not killing. Do as I say, yeah. not as I do." 
do as I do. <laughs> as I do. Didn't he also close the Red Sea on all of the Egyptians that were chasing after him? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really God did that. that. Before the commandments were published. Yeah, and, and oh, he was the one with the I staff. Mean, didn't he like everything. tell one guy to build a big boat because he was going to flood it and kill everybody for being well, asshole? But, but that's yeah. different. And because it was like the water I killed him. It was the water, you guys. They didn't. Oh, he no, didn't no, actually. No, and as a matter of translation, it was either the Red Sea or can the we, Sea of Reeds. Can we talk about how abusive and manipulated it is that I'm going to kill this person? I'm going to kill my only child. So you have to love me and honor me forever. Well, it's not only his only child; it's also him. He killed himself. So you know. Oh, so now this guy, this is against that the guy, law, sounds though, like he needs some serious therapy. Oh, dude. How did he drown the fish? Is what I don't understand. A lot of. <laughs> People, a lot of Bible stories remind me of schizophrenia. I feel like 2,000 years ago, schizophrenic people were probably interpreted by society as having some kind of spiritual um, powers that other people didn't have. When I read the Gospels, I think, this is a schizophrenic dude, this Jesus guy. Oh. <laughs> I always thought he was a time traveler. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> at least makes some sense did he come from earlier or later which way oh, I'm confused about that. <laughs> he has to keep going back in time yeah. to get it right actually it was four different guys or maybe five because all, all the four gospels have him having different personalities from all the other ones and then when paul wrote about him he totally changed his whole teachings so well, he, paul had, wrote he, first he got at least five jesus jesus don't forget jesus so that's that's what's going on now. Look at how intelligent and this group of atheists is. This is all atheists. <laughs> We're all in. Uh, you know, we wouldn't have been able to. Go to. We wouldn't been able to keep them up if see they had next a, week. Yeah. All right, all right, good you guys. Night, everybody, I will see you next week. So Glad don't be shy. You, you, and you unless you want to come tomorrow, come over tomorrow to um uh, to uh, Kenny Biddle's. Um, yeah, I'll be there. Hey, I, I wanted to see. I wanted to see Kevin's dog. Where's Kevin's dog? All I see is a picture. Well, that He's is a, it. Oh, the dog's asleep dog right now. Cute. Dog's I'm out. You should have been here earlier. Oh, dog right. gone. What time is yeah, your the thing dog was here? here? It's at five o'clock. Five o'clock. You know what? It's California. gonna rain for our for our eclipse. Somebody should be arranging these things. I mean, usually you do a better job arranging these things. I know. I know. The idea is to go over the mountains to Band or, or someplace, I think, further south. Oh, I'm Alan, wrong. before you disappear, I uh, yeah just realized that you're a professional bass player in uh, in the Sinfonia. Yeah, I've got I've got a card I got a card in my wallet that says I'm professional. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, anyway, my uh, great nephew, whose birthday happens to be tomorrow, has just uh, picked up a bass and is starting to play it. And, smart kid. Smart and kid. His uh, mother posted a, a video of him doing it, and for somebody who's just been at it for less than a month, he's got great tone. So, where Where is he? Where is he living? In Seattle. Seattle. All right. Well, I teach. I teach virtually. If you want, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Does he do it's grunge amazing. bass in Seattle? I have. Yeah. I have no idea what he does. But since his uh, mother uh, does not believe in popular music, uh, he's probably learning classical. What do you mean you don't believe in it? it? Does exist? Tell her it really does. Exist. <laughs> it doesn't make any how sense. Old? How can you not believe in it? Bill, how it old? How old is he? Bill, how old I is he? I think he's. He's turning 13 tomorrow, I believe. All right. Well, he's clearly a smart kid, so that's 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 good. Yeah. Karen, did uh, you want to did you want to um Jamie said that it sounds like your friend made it successfully to Spain, right? So what yeah. happened is You um, guys, this is a good story. Listen up. I have I have a a good friend a family I consider him a family member who's in Israel. He went there to be with his family who lives there. He's a US citizen in San Francisco. He went because his sister was diagnosed with a very aggressive uh, lung can lung cancer at an advanced stage. How old is this guy? Um, he's 52, 51, okay, so 50s. 50, okay. 51. Uh, anyway, so he went to Israel and like 24 hours later, we all know what started happening there. So he, um, there's a reason why he doesn't live in Israel and with his family, he's offered to bring them here and he, he, you know, 
he did his duty in the military that you're supposed to, but reluctantly. And he was actually worked in the kitchen. He was able to work in the kitchen during, and he left after that because um, for various reasons. So anyway, the United States was not offering help to its citizens. They are tomorrow. They're going to start taking people out by Navy ships and chartered airlines, but they were not. It was like, try and get on a plane, try and get out this way or that. So he was trying to get out of Israel and flight after flight was getting canceled. Well, he finally got one for last night at about 11 p.m. to Phuket, <laughs> Thailand. What do we know oh, in Thailand? Jamie's still here. Jamie's still on. And yeah. yes, but and so, yes. So it was Phuket, Thailand. So yeah. he was just trying to make it through those hours until he was going to be able to get on a plane. And I said, I think I may know somebody that's in the nation there that might want to connect with you. Can I look into that? Yes. I contacted Jamie just so this guy would have a phone number or email or somebody in Thailand, you know, to connect with because he didn't know how long he was going to have to stay in Thailand. Jamie said, yes. Gail first let Jamie know I was trying to reach him. Jamie responded right away. Not only did he respond, Jamie used to live in Israel and he offered all kinds of information, all kinds of hospitality, a lot of things that allowed him, my friend, to look into the future that, okay, things are going to change. I'm going to be there, really visualize what it was going to be like there. As it turned, And it really helped him get through those hours. As it happened, when he got to the airport early, he was able to jump on a flight to Madrid, Spain, where he is now safe. But because of trivia... Because I know someone in yeah. Thailand and because yes. James was so gracious, it really helped him because he was at his rope's end. And and thank you, Jamie. And thank you, Trivia. Yeah, so he uh, had been, a connection. That's really that cool, so Jamie. Cool. Scared. It, it would have been so easy if he, came, if he came into Phuket. Um, Phuket is a big, huge city. Chaos and tons of Russians. It's a terrible place to come. And he'd be totally lost. So we found a flight for him. When we came into Phuket, a few hours later was a very inexpensive flight for one hour to our house here on our island. Oh. Oh. So I sent him all the information for him. I said, don't go into Phuket. Fly there. Get a ticket um, to come to our island. And he just stay with our family. Just stay in our house for a while. Just <laughs> let him relax and you know, get adjusted again before that, he flies all back sweet? to the States. Which is exactly what he needed because he's been existing. Yeah. I don't know if any of you have been in a war zone or I've been there when missiles, when Hussein, Saddam Hussein was lobbing missiles into Tel Aviv and I was 20 minutes away. Um, it's this constant state. Uh, you can't even explain how exhausted you, you get mentally, emotionally and yeah. everything. And then the idea yeah. that then you'd have to go to the city you're not familiar with and what am I going to do and what's going on? Jamie just offered this total like, spa welcome experience <laughs> and it just, just allowed everything to come down isn't that amazing that's cool you guys yes. are just so awesome this, this week, connections yeah. we've made in this trivia thing are incredible we're almost like six degrees of separation it's probably like three degrees of separation from just about any scenario it's just really awesome Very so this last weekend but jamie Ship yep. the Jerry Andrus uh, collection to uh, Joshua J's warehouse in mm -hmm. Rancho Cordova. You've been there. Uh, mm -hmm. He was gone. Our word was that he was leaving uh, for Israel. <laughs> we didn't hear anything, and uh, we were we were interacting with his manager who was in the UK. And then the next thing we knew, because he basically was going to Israel like the day before or two days before, but we didn't know how long he was there. We've since gotten word back he's in India. <gasps> did he end up going, going there? Oh my so did I he end up know. going to Israel? I don't know. I don't know whether he went there and left or he was on route and diverted but he now is in india 
I, wow. I was just thinking, oh my gosh, all we had to do was just get the collection to someone who can, you know, and James drove it down. Uh-huh. James and I loaded the a U-Haul truck on Saturday and Sunday, James drove it. How does it feel to be done with it? <laughs> We're not quite done because we still have the organ. Oh. I need to contact uh, Jerry and George's nephew who builds musical instruments and see if he wants it. And if not, what am I going to do with the organ? How big is it? Huge. It's an organ. It's, call it, call no, a it was congregation to see if they want it. It's not that kind of organ. It's not that kind of an organ. Here, I'll show you a picture of it. Hold it on. was a Jerry it. Andrus organ. It was hand built in that room. And when it was time to move out of the house, it would not come through the through any door. And it was added on so that it had speakers and it had theremins and it had bongo drums and it had nothing's attached um, now <laughs> and and everything had to be cut and taken apart to take it out which is maybe a music <laughs> a music museum no it, it's you, i'll you show could, you right now you could you could give it to so, someone for free and be an organ donor <laughs> exactly. I I do think that there's a chance that if the nephew doesn't want it, there's hmm. there would be people who would want it. Janine, do you have the organ in the storage unit? Yes. Yeah. You can't leave a musical instrument in a storage unit. How long has it been there? Yes, you can. What's that, the 11th commandment? No, you physically can't. You can't. Not, I know. It's not We've a done it. Normal it organ. may not do well in the environment, but it, it, it will be there. <laughs> you guys, here, here, let me show you a picture of this. Let me pull this up. Okay. Picture an organ. I want you to picture what your idea of an organ is. Hold that in your mind. Are you okay. holding it I'm in your mind now? Uh, we're Hold ready, it in Susan. your mind. <laughs> here it is. We're holding an organ in our mind, Susan. That's not an organ. <laughs> This is Jerry yes, Anderson's is. organ. Is, and it that doesn't even show everything, Susan. No, that it, isn't everything. That's just the picture that pulled up first. But it that doesn't is, show the bongos and the let me find the next another picture. But that this is oh here's here's a better picture. Okay, here we go. You're still picturing this organ? Here here it is. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. oh. Is there oh. any documentation of how to reassemble it? No, because it's been oh, assembled and done. reassembled multiple times. It doesn't make any sense. It's it's multiple. Yeah, it's there, there, on those... there is a manual. And Zoom we have the manual. Words. Zoom in on those words there in the middle. Which ones? Right in the middle, the, the bar. The, the, what does this? it say? Yeah, can you zoom in? I bet uh, you can. Diet. Oh, that's the diapason. Bass clamp, trumpet. Timbre. Violin. Everybody. Bye. Like those old fashioned label That's... guns where you have to crank yeah, and then punch turn them out. Yeah, the, turn. yeah, the little um, 3M ones or whatever they call Let me them. See if I see so those poles are part of it that's organ like yes. that the timbre pulls. I might have one more. Let me see. Janine, um, have you put it anywhere, like on Facebook or anything? Well, it's a historical. Oh, I, I do think I need to offer it first to. Chris yeah. is nephew. Oh, yeah. Because his nephew members. builds musical instruments. Oh, well done. And at George's 100th birthday, he brought the most beautiful hand built harp. The woodworking was gorgeous. And it was, yeah, it was very, very cool. So, um, that's going to be my first offer. Then I think I will ask around through friends of Jerry Andrus. Oh my God, this thing is massive. And it's just in parts. And it's been in many parts over the years. It's not like a, it's set to be this way. It's like something, it was a work in progress. He worked on for years, decades. Does it have- You know, if I had taken it apart, 
if I knew they had to cut it, cut the wires, I would have put for each cut, I would have labeled each cut mm -hmm. so that they could, if somebody wanted ever to put it back together. But um, the guys were not that patient. Yeah. So they just cut well, the wires. I'd like to say this now because I, I work with some people. I've worked with people locally on this right now. Look, we all hope we get 150 years on this planet and tomorrow we could get hit by a bus. Mm -hmm. um, talk to your friends and family now. Ask them what kind of stuff they want. Put post-its on it. Put little masking tape, painter's tape. Drop do it on their it, porch. Do it now and then just make a simple paper list. Not tucked away somewhere. Just really easy to understand. And um. And it'll be a gift to your family afterwards and friends that they'll know what you wanted done with your stuff. Um, we go well, through, that works I tell people theory. got rid of houseful of stuff and they just never let anybody know. And um, we're giving away things and- yeah, Actually, you can multitask. You can multitask by, you need to do this for your insurance company anyway. You need to walk around your house with a- with a camera documenting what you've got in your house and how much it's worth. Because if the house burns down and you say, I had $300,000 worth of stuff in the house, the insurance company is going to say, prove it. Mm. And right. you need to document that by walking around the house. And you can, you can kill two birds with one stone by saying that painting over there, that goes to my mm. daughter Maris. And then we have John shot. Yeah. And, and a after you make that list, you may need to talk to your insurance company because if you have a lot of nice stuff, you may not have sufficient coverage for what you have. Yeah. Mm. And Kat brings up something. There's a new show. Amy Poehler uh, produced it, I think. I haven't seen it. Uh, Swedish Death Cleaning. Oh, yeah. Swedish Death yeah. Cleaning. It's a thing. It's a whole culture. It's a whole way of of living over there. They, it's very interesting how they how it's it's a process of getting rid of things throughout Before your life you're so you're just using the basics and and to and to have respect for the item to give it to them and so you can see it them enjoying it you'd be like this is for you now i want this to go there i want to keep works in theory good night, though, everybody because... good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. nice being on your team <laughs> it works in theory karen but it doesn't always work fully because I, my mother made a list and she talked to all of us years ago. What do you want? I told her what I wanted and she wrote the list and my brothers just ignore it. Yeah. Well, or they, they say, Oh, so-and-so wants it. So they write it down. And then somebody else years later says, it's it. it. gone. Oh, it's been gone. The other my father's now. guns and my father's <laughs> coin collection are long gone, <laughs> even though my mother wanted me to have them. I'm mm -hmm. sorry that happened to you, Kevin. No, it just, it unfair. just happens. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not exactly. upset by it, but. You know, I also but most I people house, don't want your stuff, bed, you guys. I took just, her, my brother took her dining room table. We just took stuff, you know. Yeah, just but it I mean, they don't but, want but it. The parents should know if they have kids who would take from the other kids. Like when my parents died, they knew that my sister and I were not going to argue over anything, and we did not argue over anything. We just said, This is yours, this is mine. We split up the money and we went right, our right, no. Right. I so you know if you're going to have if, if there's going to be a problem right the i abhorred my father i abhorred him and and i was executor <laughs> i made sure he got everything he wanted because my beloved grandmother entrusted me to carry out her wishes and regardless of my personal feelings about him i made sure he had what he wanted it's the well, right the job thing of to a do. good honest executor well we have to live with ourselves right we have to live yeah. with our conscience and you want to try to have the relationships with people, even if they're not, you know, there's no sense in battling the, the people who are left behind. You know, you may need them and you may want to have a relationship. Why ruin it? So, yeah, totally. In my business, I see all the cases that go south. And oh, true. You, you can't even believe the stuff that comes into our office uh, right now because housing around here is so expensive. If grandma lives in a house, every ne'er do well oh. child is a oh. hanger on in that house. Oh, here's another and picture. It's wow. it's always a bad scene. Here's another photo of it. You can see it down to the ground. Wow. He had it set up with lights and things like he could move his elbow and like the door doorbell would ring 
or you know he had its motion set up for all sorts of objects Lots in the house that he could mm. move around to trigger but not all of that a lot of that stuff didn't come through the organ but you know i see the bongo drums sitting in the yeah. in the storage unit but i've i've never seen them attached so sometimes well, things he would, are attached. like I say, he'd move things around. It was here, it was there, it was gone here, there. It's just and he composed music for. Oh, it. I've got I've got organ music. It's just yeah, I've got all that. <laughs> he has organ sound effects. I managed to copy that over. It's hilarious. So Rob, you said you were gonna do. You were gonna you're gonna show me how to do this. Is Rob I'm still here? Good night. Good night. Good We're night, Rob, Wendy. Yeah. Uh, dear Wendy, thank you for staying the whole time. I have yeah. I, I had an interesting yeah. Israel, Israel story if anybody wants to hear it. Okay, let's hear it. Yeah. Oh, and then before good. before you go, Rob, I want to talk to you about going to the sphere on um Thursday okay, night. Good. good, great. Um, yeah, so my wife has a friend she's known since college who is a very religious Jew, although when I had this conversation with her once, she says, I'm not religious, but she keeps kosher, you know, very involved with temple. So I don't understand what her definition of not being religious is. Um, but, and, you know, to the point where she got her kids so interested in Israel that uh, her daughter went to Israel and joined the army. Uh, and from America? From America. These are Americans. Oh, wow. That's right. Right. All of them, even the mother was born in America, but they were so involved with, you know, next year in Jerusalem, it became a serious thing. And uh, the, the the weird thing about this is she hates Israel because they, quote, stole her daughter. So yeah, really. she yelled at me when she was over the house, when the pool was open, we're, you know, swimming around, what's going on. My wife was talking about her own sister. And I would say, yeah, if we visit them, I forgot what their address is. It's not even in my phone anymore. And, she, and 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 oh yeah, wait a minute, it was Jerusalem Avenue. And Joanne yelled at me. I told you don't bring up Israel. I said that's the street <laughs> they live on. And she says I don't care. You shouldn't have said that word. So it's like she's so triggered by it. I cannot imagine what's been going on with her this week because you know the country has been attacked by the enemy, and she says she hates that country. So I I don't even want to talk to her about it. But it's like. It must be a weird quandary. Are her kids over there still? No, she married an Israeli and moved back to the United States just about a half a year ago and had a kid here. But her, you know, her in-laws are all in Israel. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a religion; it's a culture. It's it's weird. Yeah. It's it's an ethnicity, and I and you don't have to be. Observe. But she is both. She is culturally no, Jewish, and, she's, and she says she's religious, and they keep kosher. Maybe she's bacon. Her husband wears a yarmulke all the time, you know. So it's it's, it's very she, weird. She wears a yarmulke. Her husband wears oh, a yarmulke. Okay, I was going to say that's really <laughs> confusing to me. Then okay. Well, okay. Let me ask you about that. Actually, uh, Jamie, especially maybe, and maybe Wendy. Mm -hmm. uh, we we my, all my wife's relatives are Jewish, and we went to a wedding which actually wound up being a trans wedding because her, her cousin is, was a lesbian dating a woman and that woman decided she's a guy. And between when the invitation to the wedding went out, we thought we were going to a lesbian wedding. It wound up being a trans wedding. The officiant was a rabbi who was a woman wearing a yarmulke. And at least half of the people in the bridal party who were women wore a yarmulke. I was very confused. I have one. Does that when make sense? They, I, for a very short time, I belonged to... Uh, a couple of years. Um, I belong to a congregation of Jewish mystics, not the ones that wear all black. This is can, like normal looking people, like the way they dress, but um, just their whole identities were wrapped up in, in Jewish customs, you know, observances. And they, and it was right before my father died and i credit them with kind of getting me through that process of my father's mortality and um one of the a bunch of the older people in the congregation were holocaust survivors one of them was a uh, uh hit in his when he was before he was retired he had a business making fancy um 
woven things like um cloth things for special um special clothing not a religious clothing but just like um i can't remember the word it's it's when you make a design with thread and the and so his hobby was that he would make these the kipot that the um mm -hmm. yeah yeah kipot. for women yeah. too for women too yeah. mine is pink and gold and i don't know well, women in my well usually but... women wear in in shul women usually wear scarves or some kind of head covering yeah so it could be either it could be a kippah or a scarf or something mm -hmm. but... and it's beautiful and i just you know i kind of after my father died i decided I didn't believe in God and the, and I, you know, just kind of accepted the A word. The A word. Yeah, see, most, most people don't realize, I mean, Judaism Hard is much, much Hard yeah. But Judaism is much more of a culture and a, and an identity than it is a religion. I mean, my wife and I, we're, we're um, atheists. We always have been. When we moved to Israel, um, I was surprised at how many secular Jews, in fact, the majority of Jews were secular. When you go to a gas station, to the restaurants, the best restaurants are in gas stations, and they serve um, a white meat, they call it, Misar Lavan, which is pork. Oh, and right. Yeah. Or the um, Lavan. popular book that, um, that everybody read, the um, Exodus, that they, there's a part of the story where a bunch of, a busload of tourists is going past a, a, a farm in in a uh, very early you know israel after statehood and there was a, a bunch of swine and uh, and the tour director said oh yeah those are giraffes <laughs> 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 but that, but um my um i met paul kurtz he he was he started the uh, uh cfi they called it something else though <clears throat> The committee for scientific scientific investigation of the claims of the Bicop. 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 and my last name is Hughes because my second husband's name was Hughes, and so I met him socially, Paul, and the, and um, and I was asking him some questions, and he was asking me questions about myself, and he says, "Oh, you're a member of the tribe," and I'm going, "Really." Well, and it didn't occur to me. And I think like almost like the most heavy hitting atheists that I've met are Jewish. And a lot of the heaviest hitting Jewish people I know are atheists. Yeah, I don't yeah, think I know any Jewish people who are who are not atheists. Yeah, most are atheists. I, don't. I mean, I might know them, but I don't really know. But the yeah. most of them might. Even a good fraction of the practicing Jews are atheists. Amazing. Yeah, because it's all oh. about how we are, how we are with one another. How Community do you live an ethical ritual, life yeah. now? It's a rational, yeah. It's based on the rationale, exactly. Yeah. And questioning and, it and really thinking, okay, I say <laughs> this is a good way of being. What what about if this much is involved? That much is involved. What in this circumstance? A real thinking <clears throat> person's way of being a responsible person and yeah. And, well, that's what that's happens cool. in Torah study on Saturdays. <laughs> Is yeah. it, I, I don't know. Maybe that, maybe that explains Joanne's comment. I'm not religious. Uh, you know, to me, it's following doctrines that, that changes the way you live, including what restaurants you can go to, and what kind of food you can bring in the house and all that kind of stuff. That's cultural. Means you're that's religious. Not religion. But it means uh, the no. motivation. <laughs> Rob, doesn't the motivation for why you're doing the behavior has to do with religion if you're doing it because god said so and i'm supposed to because of a creed that's different than well because that's what we do it's part of my culture it's right. uh, what i grew up with or what i like or i like to belong to my community mm -hmm. rather than god's gonna bless me or damn me to hell or something yeah i, mean, I, I agree with I Karen. the the idea is that religion is she probably knows people who are far more religious than her. Well, that that's I'm sure probably why that. she says that. Yeah, and she says I'm not really religious, Robin. I can't believe you're gonna you're gonna check out on Dawkins and go to see a see something. Um. Uh, so my my feeling about Richard Dawkins is I love him. I've heard him speak. 
numerous times. I think that since he had his stroke, he's kind of lost his spark. Mm. And um, he's been less interesting to listen to. And I'm very interested in that sphere. <laughs> and Rob, if you're going to the sphere on Thursday night, I'm going with you. Oh, cool. Okay. So that's two of us. Great. Yeah. Th it's the night. Anybody else? Th Anybody I, usually, I, I usually Thursday I night I'm out. I fall asleep. I leave early. Who is that? I, didn't <laughs> I might be awesome. Awesome. Jane. Jane. Jane yeah. Jane's, Jane's up. I, I want to go on the inside of it. I want to see what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, well, so there's a whole show. It's like what time is it? Hour long, not nine thirty. Wait a second. Do you know what you're going to miss? Is oh Dawkins. no, you won't miss the. If the show is at nine thirty, we could probably see Dawkins and then go to the sphere. No, yeah. it, oh. the show. He's talking for an hour from eight fifteen to nine fifteen. We're not going to come out oh, okay. fifteen minutes and and, and yeah. fucking cost a million dollars and fifty yeah. cents. Yeah, I I. We're not going to have a car. Thing. None of us have a car. I don't think. Or even we're, we're we're just gonna, we'll just take a you cab. Can take an the Uber. From the we'll just take a cab. It's, or... like, it's like a six minute Uber drive, you know. Okay. Yeah. Something. Well, like I'll that. think about it because I I'm I don't really go to the talks anyway. I will just go there and go. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. There's nothing that Richard Dawkins could say that I haven't already heard. Well, so the, the thing, the reason I don't particularly care is the name of his talk is the same as his new podcast. And if you Google that, there's tons of him doing this in the last year. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be at least 90%. It's probably the, the same talk. talk. Well, so this we can, is we can you, what you're missing is, wait, wait, I have to end the, I have to end this. Um, Stop recording, you mean? 